following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. The lights beam bright on a Saturday night in Tallahassee. Game night for Florida State. A quarterback named Christian ponders his next assignment. Challenging one of the fiercest linebackers in the ACC. Mark Herzlick leads BC in interceptions, tackles, and forced fumbles. Tonight, he'll try to stop the Seminoles. As the years kept coming and going, he never looked back. Only ahead. Nothing but new ground to cover. Nothing but new teams to lead. More character to build. With the South and football in his blood to equal degrees, he's done it one way. His way. The only way he knows how. And they love him for it. Another BCS bowl game for Bobby Bowden? Whatever the future holds, he's looking forward to it. Welcome you to Saturday Night Football from Tallahassee, Florida, presented by Southwest Airlines. And tonight from Bobby Bowden Field in Tallahassee, the Boston College Eagles and the Florida State Seminoles. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an ACC showdown. Both of these teams control their own destiny, as does Maryland, a winner earlier today over North Carolina. So the Seminoles and the Eagles are ready to get it on here in Tallahassee. We welcome everybody with Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brett Musburger. And uh, Kirk, the big story here in Tallahassee is the fact that Bobby Bowden suspended five of his wide receivers after that ugly brawl here on Wednesday. Now, where do the Knolls go from there? Well, obviously, that's the last thing you need to have happen nine games into the season. But talking to Jimbo Fisher, the offensive coordinator, this is an offense that's really predicated upon their ability to run the football. They're averaging over 200 yards. You can see the players that are now not involved with this Florida State offense. The top three affected depth. The two stars of this offense on the outside, Greg Carr, still in uniform and the best receiver is Preston Parker. And with any disappointment, there's always an opportunity. And talking to Jimbo Fisher, he says, keep an eye on number 80, a true freshman. Jervon uh, Forston has a chance, I think, to step up and maybe get a chance to show what he can do. All right, and of course, it's a tough BC defense here tonight. So for one of these teams, the lights will stay on. For the other, it'll grow dark.
watching ESPN on ABC. At a time when others don't, Nissan delivers. 0% financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers. A Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month. Or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. In the history of sports, B means a lot of things. But this B borders on unbelievable because only the best of the best of the best can go back to back to back. The chase for the Sprint Cup concludes tomorrow at 3 Eastern on ABC. The Army has always expected more from a soldier. More strength, more discipline, more integrity. Now a soldier can expect more from the Army. Introducing the Army Advantage Fund. Earn up to $40,000 to start the business of your dreams or buy the home you always wanted. Log on to GoArmy.com slash AAF to learn more about the Army Advantage Fund. Because soldiers deserve more. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. When the first storm of winter approaches, who will see it first? You, if you're watching the Power of Five. Snow, sleet, ice. The Power of Five Doppler Network sees it coming from 500 miles away. So you get warnings first and fast. Preparing you for messy commutes, how to dress the kids, when to start shoveling. Five live radars keeping you safe this winter. That's the Power of Five, only on News Channel 5. Guess what? Dairy Queen is having a huge cheeseburger sale. Now, a juicy single is just 99 cents. Mmm. A beefy double is just $1.49. Mmm. Mmm. And a Titanic triple is just $1.99. Uh-oh. Lock ya. Oh, help here. Open wide and say, mmm. The cheeseburger sale is going on at Dairy Queen. Do all three. The McDonald's Deluxe Breakfast Platter. I'm loving it. Welcome to the Nissan pregame show. Nissan, proud sponsor of the Heisman Trophy. And now, John Saunders. With Craig James and Doug Flutie, number three, Texas facing Kansas today. Colt McCoy to Brandon Collins, 36 yards and a touchdown. Uh, this is the eighth straight 10-win season for the Longhorns and Mac Brown. Congratulations. Number four is Florida, still with one loss. Tim Tebow to Deontay Thompson, South Carolina. Four turnovers led to 28 points. Another huge day for Tebow. Percy Harvin, 167 rushing. They give Spurrier his worst loss ever. On to the Pac-10, USC against Stanford. Remember, Stanford beat them last year. Toby Gerhardt puts them on top with a four-yard touchdown run. It looks just like the Oregon State game film that they've watched. They're running the ball. Toby Gerhardt here, a four-play, 65-yard touchdown drive, answered the call to USC, who had just scored a tie it up. Man, watch out for the Cardinal. Yeah, Gerhardt got it to the one, and they punched it in from there. Alabama against Mississippi State. Blake McAdams is blocked by Kareem Jackson. It's a safety, so number one, Alabama on the board first. We know Texas Tech against Oklahoma next week. Big game, Texas Tech still unbeaten. Let's talk one-loss teams. Florida and Texas, make your case. Well, okay, I'm going to say this first of all. The hottest team out there would probably be the Florida Gators, but they lost at home to Ole Miss. The team that I think deserves to be ranked where they are above Florida would be the Texas Longhorns. But as of today, when you ask the question, who's the hottest team out there, man? The Florida Gators. This is a football team that's got the defense and the offense that's working all over the field. Speed, athleticism. They are drilling themselves for losing to Ole Miss. Boy, they start, I agree with you 100%, Florida Gators. They started out the day with three quick turnovers, 21 points in two and a half minutes, took control right away. Explosive offense, speed on defense, special teams, big plays, punt returns, kick returns, you name it. Urban Meyer hadn't scored yet, but don't, don't hold him out. <laughs> By the way, USC has just scored a touchdown on a kickoff return. <laughs> Two off that one. All right, who, who do you like in tonight's game? Florida State, BC, ACC, nobody knows. I think Florida State, they've got a fast defensive line that's going to have to get after Ichabod Crane, otherwise known as Chris <laughs> Crane, the quarterback in BC. Flutie Flakes, you may have to put on the pads and go out there and run around because they can get after it. Jermaine Thomas, freshman running back. Over 200 yards for the team. Florida State's a different team. They can run the football. Yep. All right, again, updating that one. Stanford's lead is 17-16 over USC, pending the extra point. We, of course, will see you at half 
time with all the day's scores and highlights. Right now, let's join Brent Musburger. The sights and sounds of a Saturday night in Tallahassee. Chief Osceola ready. What you see is what you get, boy. I asked him why he brought the cold weather with him. Oh, it's got to be Boston, man. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Renegade brings him out. This has been the Nissan pregame shift. Our kickoff from Tallahassee is coming up next. At a time when others don't, Nissan delivers. 0% financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers. A Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month. Or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. What is he doing? Said something about not driving through Texas without getting a shot of a bull. Guys? Ooh. Maybe we should help him. First one to get an empty chip? Taco Bell's new fully loaded nachos. Loaded with toppings so there are no empty chips. Not it. Not it. He seems angry! Not it. Not it. Not it. Oh, not it. What is wrong with you? Taco Bell's new fully loaded nachos. <laughs> not it. Beep. Happy holidays. Howard's phone. Howard doesn't have AT&T, which means no bars way out here. So he never got the call from his friend telling him to thaw the turkey before he deep fries it. Otherwise, it could, you know, explode. Yeah, we missed that call. I'm missing some beard. Switch to the network for the best coverage. AT&T. More bars in more places. Get an exclusive quick messaging phone for $79.99 after mail-in rebate. Hey, Vincent! Go stay! Hey, Ham. Why did that guy call you Vincent? Because that's my real name, Bergwood. It is? How do you know that? He's my Allstate agent. Oh, he insures your car. And my boat. You got a boat? Ah, my wife is a big-time skier. <laughs> you married? Allstate agents know who you really are and what you really need. Call one today for a free Good Hands coverage checkup. Are you in good hands? Where'd you meet your wife? Pilates. Ah, she's European. This ESPN production available on ABC HD. Chief Osceola with a rare handoff to a member of the Seminole Indian tribe who will plant the spear here tonight. You know, unlike uh, many Indian nickname controversies around the country, the Seminoles are honored by their Florida State Association. Game on. A little brisk, 55 degrees, Kirk. A little bit of a breeze, not too bad. Some gusting down there. I suppose the kicking game and the passing game could be affected a little bit. But here's the legend. 33 seasons here in Tallahassee. Homecoming, not bad, huh? And on the other side, Coach Jags, second year with BC. In the hunt, even without Matt Ryan. And the Knowles will kick it off, so BC will handle it to begin this game. Fielded at the three by Montel Harris, a fine freshman from Jacksonville. And let's go down to Lisa Saltis for more on the controversy here. Well, Brent, you know there's a much bigger picture here because FSU is still awaiting word from the NCAA about possible sanctions that could be coming down, stemming from that academic cheating scandal that broke late last year. 61 players from various sports were involved, including 18 football players. Remember, it was the university that actually discovered the cheating, turned itself into the NCAA, and imposed a two-year probation on itself. Still, the university had to have a hearing in October, still waiting to see if more sanctions will come down. University President T.K. Weatherill told me that he doesn't believe that the brawl will have anything to do with it, but he said it's like a job. You don't want anything bad said about you. 
And on that first play, Montel Harris bolts to the 21 yard line. Here's a freshman from Jacksonville. He returned the opening kickoff and a big hole on the left side here, Kirk. And Gunnell going in motion, almost like a fake reverse, takes the corner and safety with him. Great blocking in the interior. And once you see the back, Harris get through that initial burst, there's nobody left because the secondary went with Gunnell on the reverse. Huge play for Boston College to open this game up. A 47-yard burst. Stalking the red zone on a kickoff return, and now they are into it. about the 19-yard line, and there is Montel. He has had the ball on all three of their carries. Well, there's our impact players. Montel Harris, a true freshman, has really come on of late. Very powerful back. Brandon Robinson, one of the receivers on the outside, along with Rich Cannell. They've got to have an impact tonight to slow down their Florida State defense. And how do you talk about impact players at Boston College? Without mentioning Mark Perslick on the defensive side when the Eagles come out will have to be all over making some big plays and providing leadership. Chris Crane, a game manager, throws his first pass and there was contact. That could be interference. That was Patrick Robinson, the defensive back, working against Gunnell over there, Kirk, and uh, there seemed to be contact. Ball was in the air and a shove by Robinson pushed Gunnell right to the ground. I like the throw. It's a little fade. It's a simple read for the quarterback, Chris Crane. And we'll talk more about him. Passing first. Defense number 21. It's a spot foul. First down. I love Ron Cherry's voice. <laughs> well, Gannell's going to get downfield. And he's going to challenge the best cover corner for Florida State. Very physical shove downfield. Balls in the air. And a good call by the officials. But Boston College coming out of the gate on the road, attacking the Seminoles defense. First and 10 from the 12-yard line, and that's Gunnell not fooling Robinson that time. This, off praying, Kirk. this offense has been a bit of a work in progress. Everybody knows about Matt Ryan and what he meant to this program. Doing a great job with the Falcons this year. Chris Crane steps in. You see he's a senior, fifth-year senior. Young man really hasn't played, Brent, since going back to the 2003 year where he was a high school senior. He redshirted in 04, 05, 06, and 07. Limited reps, has all the physical ability in the world, just needs to get more reps to settle down to make better reads. Harrison, this time Mickey Andrews defensive front all over him. Bud Thacker, number 72, the junior from Sanford, Florida. One of the defenders in there. And the challenge when you have a quarterback that's struggling with reads and execution is you become fairly vanilla. And Brent, you used the word, he's a game manager. That's what he has become. And it, it somewhat handcuffs you as a play caller for Steve Logan, the offensive coordinator, because now you try to hit a fade maybe once in a while, and then you come back to the running game. Big third down. Boston College did not want to start this game attempting a field goal. They've missed four of their last five, and here comes the blitz. Andrews all out on Crane in the air. Touchdown! Wide open is Gunnell on the blitz, and this crowd goes silent as Crane finds the open man, and Gunnell scores the evening's first touchdown. How about this? Boy, Boston College takes the football. Five plays, they get the big play to open up this game. Some confusion, I think, in the Florida State secondary. Left Gunnell all alone in the back of the end zone for an easy throw, an easy read for Chris Crane. On third down, and here is Obanavicius adding the extra point. Forget that field goal throw. That's for a later time in this game. The Eagles strike first in Tallahassee. All oh, right, your fare is going to be $69. Wow, it's not bad. That's it? Yeah. Oh, and give me $25 for a bag fee, $15 for a booking fee. Why don't you just give me your whole lot? Give me the whole thing. Give it to me now. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Is there a problem? Yeah, but that's more than you said it would be. Hidden fees are the other side of some low fares. But on Southwest Airlines, what you see is what you pay. Low fares, no hidden fees. Have fun. 
it's time to unleash your inner Santa. Head to Santa's other workshop, The Home Depot, the one place with everything you need to make your home festive, inside and out, all at guaranteed low prices, now even lower. Bring the holidays home for less at The Home Depot. At a time when others don't, Nissan delivers. 0% financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers. A Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month. Or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. Move over, Eggnog. We're working this holiday party. Refreshing Sierra Mist Cranberry Splash is back. Available in regular and dyed for a limited time. So start a new holiday tradition now. ABC Sunday. A dedicated firefighter and devoted father to eight adopted children. Gets a makeover that will ignite your spirit. ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition, all new Sunday, 8, 7 central on ABC. Offensive coordinator Steve Logan doing a superb job on that opening drive, Kirk. No question. And the all-out blitz by Florida State on third down puts the safety, Mangum, in man-to-man -man situation. Good blocking up front. The left guard picks up a chip block there, giving Crane just enough time. But Mangum isolated one-on-one -on -one against Cannell. An easy read and an easy throw for Crane. And a huge touchdown for the Eagles here to start this game. There is the offensive coordinator upstairs calling plays here for BC. One of those underrated football teams, Kirk. Oh boy. Exist under the radar. They played yep. a sensational game in Boston last weekend, shutting out Notre Dame, intercepting Jimmy Clausen four times in that game. The average bouncing back today. Onside kick. It's great cover by the Eagles. They've got it. Well, you're an underdog and you're on the road. You strike first, and why not go for it? This is how underdogs pull off amazing upsets. But the cuts by Jeff Jackinsinski here early in this game. Not only do they take the football and drive down in five plays and put a touchdown up on the board, but he catches everybody off guard here with an onside kick, an improbable onside kick that gets past the 10-yard mark. The ball is loose. Heads up play, the discipline here at Boston College, interesting, and also the courage there for the onside kick. Quigley was the kickoff man. Francois recovered it. First and ten for Crane. Here's play action going far sideline. Incomplete, and it'll be second down and ten. Not holding anything back, are they, partner? No. <laughs> Taking their shots. You gotta love that. If you're a player, you really love that. Isolated again, one on one. We're going to be talking about this a lot. Moma at 6'6, one on one against Robinson, the corner at 5'11. If he, Crane's got to put a little bit more air underneath that and allow his taller receiver to make the play. But that's the game plan. Throw the ball downfield, make the Florida State defense back up, and then get back to your bread and butter of running the football. But you've got to have some success throwing it downfield. Into round. Picks his way for about eight yards. Rich Cannell, the youngster who scored that touchdown. Cannell, a junior from Windsor, New Jersey. Misdirection against a defense it is aggressive. Always a good call early in a football game to try to take advantage of an aggressive attitude, and it's another way to slow them down. Big thing for Boston College is getting into third and short, Brent. Florida State only allowing 18% success rate for offenses trying to convert on third down. It's very difficult to deal with this pressure. Josh Hayden is now the tailback. Crane moves him over and he'll take this from the gun. Need a couple here on third down and there was movement prior to the snap. But the tight end I think. A little movement there will push BC back. And that'll change the play call. 
unless you're the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> no. That was crazy. They battled too. Yeah. Had their chance. Cross to the snap. False start. 87 offense. It's a five yard penalty. Lars Anderson. Now the first third down that they faced. They got one on one coverage and took advantage of it and threw a touchdown. Now let's see how they do here on his, their second third down against this defense. Put three wide to the right. Motion to back out to the left. And now the Knowles jump that snap. There was no question about uh, Everett Brown who's one of the best defensive ends and he's claiming he was drawn he's, off. He's too, trying man. to claim that Rich Lapham moved. <laughs> he and Rich Lapham moved after Brown was by him. Brought to the snap. False start. Six to six. Oh. That's a five yard penalty. He got him. Maybe talk the official into it. Well, that's... You're, you're looking at a real oh, tough boy. defense back. He'll be in the NFL. He might be playing early. next year early, okay? Oh, he did. Good call. That's a good job by Brown. Just the right side of the upper body of the right tackle move just a little bit. And that told Brown he's got to get over to the other side. Watch how much pressure Brown has on this quarterback. He really to get after this quarterback especially on third down yeah they may have to chip on him with a tight end of running back here oh, he's fierce they run right past him this time got a first down josh hayden the other freshman out of washington maryland what a terrific call by logan and the eagles and watch the block by tenet 65 right there also the right the uh, tight end off to the right purvis they get to the second level with that adle athletic ability brown takes himself right out of the out of the position to make the play in hayden's quickness again you're going to see two freshman backs for boston college both true freshmen great acceleration there brent to get upfield two for two now on third down yeah Herbie, that's a 14-yard run on that third down play fake crane going deep picking on that same corner jump ball and incomplete Tony Carter was the corner that time on that side and Carter's one of the best in the ACC simple read maximum protection three receivers downfield all going vertical they're trying to take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one opportunities and they're trying to execute this time they go after Tony Carter balls thrown to the inside the ball has to be thrown towards the outside shoulder he threw it to the inside giving his receiver no chance to make that play. Very fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Yeah, Larmond was the intended receiver. Second and ten. And this will be third and long, and I see a... Uh, what I thought was a flag might have been a mouthpiece. <laughs> Come flying. <laughs> Florida State defense over the years always known for its athletic ability always known for great defensive linemen defensive ends corners that could cover Mickey Andrews one of the better defensive coordinators in the last 20 years in this game there's Mickey graduate of Alabama third and 11 now only three down linemen Mickey decides to stay back on this and Crane cannot burn them. Eight back on that pass play. Mickey did not bring pressure. Well, he, he brought three and dropped eight. He has been bringing pressure the first two times and it didn't work out. Boston College able to execute. This time Brown with a spin move on Costanzo goes to the inside and forces Crane to get rid of the ball much faster than he would have liked to. The Aaron throw and Florida State gets the football back. Billy Flutie back to punt for the first time and uh, Preston Parker back deep for the Knowles. Good coverage that time. Parker is down at the 10 yard line as Brandon Robinson comes down on it. Boston College leads it by seven.
Hey, what kind of light beer do you want? Uh, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. Whoa, all the same? Are they all as easy to drink as Bud Light? Isn't water from this hose easier to drink than water from this one? Isn't this bottle easier to drink from than this one? And wouldn't you agree that a raindrop is easier to drink than hail? Point is, there's a difference, and Bud Light has it. It's called drinkability. The just right taste that makes Bud Light so easy to drink. Bud Light, the difference is drinkability. LT is fast. Very fast. Fortunately, the pixels you're watching are fast too. They're refreshing at a rate of 120 hertz, twice the speed of most HDTVs. So while he may look like a blur to the guys on defense, every frame on a Vizio is crisp and clear. Introducing the new XVT series. Powerful technology from Vizio. Saturday Night Football on ABC, brought to you by Southwest Airlines, low fares, no hidden fees. Nissan, when you need it most, Nissan delivers. And Verizon Wireless. Last night's team dinner. Well, Bobby Bowden, five minutes and 48 seconds, and he's still to have his first snap. Watching from the sideline and he got the ball for the first time with young quarterback Christian Ponder, the redshirt sophomore who already has an undergraduate degree in finance. And off a play fake, he's going to throw on first down. And out to the 16-yard line. So what about their impact players? Well, of course, we'll talk about Christian Ponder, who's given him stability at quarterback. But with all the suspensions, Preston Parker, number five, has got to be able to step up his game tonight and be a huge, huge player for this offense. Jermaine Thomas, the true freshman running back, recently has stepped up and really given Anton Smith a uh, ability to take a breather in the backfield. And then Greg Carr, especially in the red zone because of his size, the Knowles like to try to get him the ball, too. Borowski caught that first pass, second one juggled, and so it will bring up a third down. You're, you're going to take a look at Christian Ponder as a quarterback. I think if you look in the last eight to ten years, you try to figure out this Florida State offense when they were really rolling there for a while with Chris Wanky, and you go back and think about the great quarterbacks. I think Ponder finally gives them a young quarterback that they can build around because of his decision making, understanding of Jimbo Fisher's offense. I think he has a real, real upside, has all the skills physically and mentally, seems to get better each week. Send four out, incomplete, three and out against this BC defense. Porowski was, uh, and Herzlick, we're going to be calling yeah. Herzlick's name all night long, folks. Well, the last two plays, Herzlick has, has been around the football, and also McLaughlin. The linebackers on this Boston College defense as a group are probably about as physical a group as you'll find, not only in the ACC, but you can put them up there in the country. Maybe the best all-around kicker in the country, folks. Graham Gano. He's hit 17 consecutive field goals. He now is also punting, kicking off. This one not so good for a punt. So things are definitely not going Florida State's way. And we will go Matt Weiner's way in New York for an update, Matt. Thanks, hi everyone. I'll keep you updated on what's happening throughout the nation, starting with this Taco Bell update. And a shocker in Baton Rouge. Troy is leading LSU now 13 to 3 pending the kick. That was Levi Brown to Patrick Cherry. The first of two touchdowns now make it 14 to 3. LSU has won 24 straight non-conference games at home but down by 11 early. And Matt here the underdog leads by seven and they've got the ball again. Crane dumps it off over the middle for a handful. Working against that defense, Brandon Robinson slides out. Brandon Robinson 
and now a lot of pressure on them as receivers against this defense because of the speed of Florida State secondary now they've had some success early in this game but again they're the importance of getting away from man-to-man -man coverage will I think allow the offense to find some rhythm tonight but they've got to be able to make some plays in the passing game play fake Guns throwing underneath and uh, stumbling and going down is Lars Anderson. You know, Matt Ryan last year, it's a little thing, but his accuracy is this, use this as an example. If it's in front of the tight end, he makes the catch, he turns upfield, and he's putting a shoulder through a safety, and he picks up a first down, and now you avoid a third down. Crane, and I'm not getting on Crane, he's a, he's a first year starter, he's a fifth year player, throws to the backside shoulder, creates the tight end to have to make a great catch, falls backwards, now it's third down and two. Going to throw for it, incomplete. Four. Defense holds and it was Four. deflected on the pass that time. Four down territory or a punt. For McNeil Boston. deflected it. He touched on their field goal uh, kicking, the woes that they've had. Man, it's been bad. So Billy Flutie will try to drop one down around the 10 yard line again if he can back the Knolls up. BC dominating the battle of field position taking that opening kickoff in for their opening score. This one a little bit too much foot and it'll come out on the 20 a little breathing room for the Knowles. Their last possession, they had three plays. They passed all three times, and they're down by seven. 6.53 left in the opening quarter. Now, it's time for the Heisman memory presented by Nissan. In 1988, Oklahoma State's Barry Sanders had arguably the greatest individual season in college football history, setting a staggering 34 NCAA records. Sanders rushed for over 300 yards four times during his Heisman campaign. He was elusive, had breakaway speed, and was impossible to catch. Barry Sanders for the touchdown. Visit theheismanvote.com to cast your vote. At a time when others don't, Nissan delivers. 0% financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers. A Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month. Or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. You know, scientific tests have proven that when you drink Dr. Pepper slowly, the 23 flavors taste even better. Hey, I get it, because half my life's been in slow motion. Watch this. Slower is better. Are you kidding me? Trust me, I'm a doctor. That's the spinach, Dr. J, right there. Your kids give you more than they'll ever know for Dada. Here. For Daddy. Happy Father's Day, Dad. For Dad. For Pops. And for the love your kids give you, there's one special gift. Life insurance from New York Life ensures your loved ones will always be taken care of. With 163 years of financial strength, it's the most selfless gift you can give. New York Life, the company you keep. The dramatic conclusion to the chase for the Sprint Cup, tomorrow at 3 Eastern on ABC. Hoop junkie alert. Midnight, UMass and Memphis after Monday night football. And then 13 more oh, games. Oh, wow. Can you stand it? Sign me up. There's the key one, though. Kentucky, North Carolina. That'll be 9 p.m. come Tuesday night as they go round the clock and we open the season. I can't believe you're only calling eight of those. <laughs> Lavin just wouldn't work the ninth one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hand off to the 25-yard line is Smith. Anton Smith and McLaughlin 
the middle linebacker runs down number six. And here's Christian Ponder, Kirk. Yeah, the sophomore, 6'2", 220 pounds. Mentioned he's an athletic guy, strong arm, seems to get better every week just because of the experience. And he's going to get tested tonight. Remember, Boston College is up right now by seven, but Florida State in their last three wins, they've trailed 10 to nothing and have shown a great deal of mental toughness and resiliency and come back to win. Juggled on the snap. And the play is blown up by Ron Brace. Now, the two defensive tackles I want to talk about for the Eagles, number 60 and number 90, B.J. Raji. Raji and Brace, folks. Now, now, look at him. Does he look like a defensive tackle? And <laughs> Raji will come and clean you up. Now, these two are really rugged customers. And, and the size and the power right there put on display by Brace yes, yes. against a sm very small uh, Florida State yeah. offensive line. Look at the size of these guys. This many meals. No, no. 325 mm. pounds mm. against 280. Let's <laughs> go get them. They're down and seven. Christian off now to the side. Well short of the first down. Slipped it to Smith. How about Frank Spaziani, the defensive coordinator? He'll mix up so many different looks. This time, Baji's going to drop. Look at him. He's the nose guard. He drops right here in coverage. He's right in the middle middle of the field, hoping that a tight You imagine being a tight end or a running back and running into that? <laughs> hey, Kirk, that's two, three and outs. Yes. Speaking Frank, of Spaziani. Oh, he's one of the best. Fighting Irish can tell you all about this defense. Now, here's Gano. Not a very good first punt. Tried to nail this one, and uh, Gannell will fair catch it. So they drive the Eagles back to the 37. And uh, here's a show that uh, a lot of folks really like. Tomorrow at 8, 7 Central, an all-new Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Time again going to Ohio to try and save a family of 13 from their deteriorating home. So that's tomorrow. For Florida State, a little flat. Stadium a little flat. I think that opening drive by the Eagles took a lot out of the Seminoles. They need a big play to get themselves back into this game. Who better than the Knowles defense to try to do it? Josh Hayden's the running back. Gets the call. Hole on the right side. Fine run. About eight yards, and let's go to Matt in New York for an update, Matt. All right, Brent, let's take a check of your primetime pulse on ESPN. At this moment, the number one team in the country, Alabama, is trailing Mississippi State. The Bulldogs trying to beat the tide for the third straight year, lead at 7-5 on a touchdown pass. Meanwhile, on ESPN2, Bandy trying to get bowl eligible and beating Kentucky 14-0. Nice lead for Vandy. They need one more win to become bowl eligible. They were five and zero at one time. Didn't fool them on this play, and uh, Hayden lost a yard, gave one back that time. You and I have been living in the Big 12 the last few weeks. Look how tight these formations are. Everybody's in tight, and when you bring in your formations tight, you bring all those defenders tight into a tight area, and it makes it very tough to execute. Now, with that being said. If you're able to block that initial surge with nine guys up close to the line of scrimmage, there's nobody left after that. And we've seen a couple times tonight, Boston College hit through that, that opening seam and get some big yards. Mickey Andrews found Mincy on the bench and used him. He made that stop. And a beautiful fake, and uh, Gunnell slips on the end around that time. So as they were trying a little more trickeration, well, the, the zone read look, but with the reverse by Gannell. They're going to hand it to Gannell, but show the zone read look. The last two plays that they ran with some success. They try to catch him off guard. Defense is there to make the play, and of course, Gannell goes down. But that was a big stop by Florida State to get the football back. Quigley into punt this time. Successful defensive series for the Knowles who trail it by seven. They should pick up some yards here. That's off the side of the foot. That's not a good one. This is going to be the best field position of the night. This will give the Knoll offense a little daylight. You just talked about how they need to catch a break. And a nine-yard punt is, is one way. Break. <laughs> yes. Well, that's one, one way, way for Florida State to catch a break. The defense came up with a stop. And special teams, a big part of a game, especially when you take on Florida State, and it's just shanked there by Quigley. 
Great snap. He just missed it. Florida State starting this drive now in Boston College territory. So the freshman misfired on that punt, and now we'll see if the Knowles can get something going. They're going to throw on first down, come in underneath. And pick up a big gain with Jermaine Thomas. Now he's number 38, folks. First time we've seen him touch the ball. He's a future difference maker here in Tallahassee. The a zone. Tremendous upside. Huge upside, Brent. And they're going to bring him right here. Little fake. And then he just is going to continue. And as he continues, Ponder's going to have some time to throw the football. Sits back there, makes an easy read, dumps it off into the flat. And then you get an idea of what Thomas can do once he gets out into the open field. Just like that, Florida State's inside the Boston College 30. Devontre Richardson checks in at quarterback. Very athletic young man. He is 6'1". And around. Here's Rod Owens for the first down. Into the red zone. A great call here by Jimbo Fisher. You bring in the athletic quarterback. He's going to run, right? The defense is saying, I got him, I got him. Whoa, wait a second. This kid's going the other way. Great time to use that play where you got the entire defense being so concerned about Richardson's speed that they didn't even think about the possibility of, get, of Owens coming back the other way. Ponder returns. So concerned. Like Kirk says about Richardson keeping the ball, he was in for that one play for Jimbo Fisher. Great penetration that time by Mike McLaughlin, the middle linebacker, the Mike backer from Massachusetts. He's a junior in all over Thomas on that play. And of course, you know, you know the story. They lost Toll again to an injury. They've always had real outstanding physical linebackers up at BC. We're going to get some some great video tonight of a Florida State offense that wants to run the football. They're averaging over 200 yards rushing for the first time since 1995 against a physical group of linebackers from Boston College. You would think that Jimbo would want to throw in this situation. Second and 13. Here comes pressure from Spaziani. Intercepted. Picked off at the 13 yard line. Daylight for Bowman. Marcellus Bowman. Touchdown Eagles. 87 yards. A stunner. Frank Spaziani, the defensive coordinator from Boston College, dials up a blitz, confuses the young ponder, and he didn't even see Bowman. Throws it right into his hands. Wow. Nails the extra point. Abanavishis. Bowman was just perfectly placed here, Kirk. Here comes the blitz from our favorite guy, Herzlick. By doing that, now you're going to see the safety. See him back here? He's going to slip up. And I don't even think Ponder realizes that Bowman's right there. What an adjustment. I think he thought his receiver had the corner beat, but he didn't see the safety sneaking up, disguising coverage, and at the last second as the ball is snapped, he moves into position to get right into the throwing lane of Ponder with his receiver, Greg Carr. And I'll tell you what, that is just a well-timed blitz by Frank Spaziani, bringing Herzlick and disguising the coverage for a young quarterback that's the toughest thing to deal with is you think you know the coverage as the ball is snapped and then they go to another coverage after the ball is snapped and you have to make an adjustment the 19th interception of the season for the Eagle defense just a tremendous group of ball hawkers they rank first in the FBS it's incredible this is a defense this year, Brent, that if you look at everybody that returned, they're, they're breaking in seven new starters this year. It's just one of those things every year with the style of players, with the way they recruit, Frank Spaziani knows exactly what to look for. One star, two star, three star, five star, they don't care. They find players that fit the system. A shocker so far in Tallahassee. 
a two touchdown lead for the Eagles. Well, one more race and you owe me dinner. <laughs> yeah. My man Jimmy Johnson needs to finish just 36 and he'll tie Cale Yarbrough. They're going back to the mid 70s. Three championships in a row, but your guy is still in the. Oh, place. he's out of it. He's right he's, there he, now. Well, he's done. Yeah, listen, Jimmy. Jimmy finishes in the top 36. He, it's yeah, over. He qualified 30th today. He's chilling. He's he just wants to stay in the bag. That's exactly <laughs> what he's doing. <laughs> he don't want to be up there. No, no. He oh, no. Well. So there he is. Back to back. To back number 48 Homestead. Knowles come back and it is suddenly second and ten. They use the freshman running back again, and there is the defensive coordinator, folks. And what a solid, solid football man he is. Anytime a defensive coordinator has the towel over the left shoulder, gives you an idea of his personality. This is one of the greatest guys in the game. And one of the most consistent defensive coordinators in the game. As soon as you talk to him, you know you're talking to a football coach. Oh yeah. Oh, just and and look at the look at this this group of players that he has. They understand the scheme and they play fast. He's a holdover from Tom O'Brien's staff. Great fake by Ponder this time and fires for the first down. Jarman Fortson, the youngster, is going to get more reps now in case. You have not heard the story. Five receivers were suspended by Bobby Bowden following the brawl, and you have to believe it was a distraction for this team leading up to this game here tonight. Fortson getting more reps for Coach Bowden, who made the decision and, and made the announcement on Friday that five would not play, three of whom have contributed greatly to the Knowles offense this year. So the first quarter comes to an end. And the underdog is starting to howl. Is that moon full? Well, almost. <laughs> 14 0. BC over Florida State. A time when others don't. Nissan delivers. 0% financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers. A Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. So, how's my day look? Well, 9.30 to 1, you send funny pics to your wife. From 1 to 1.15, texting your son throughout recess. 1.15 to 3, exchanging flicks with your daughter. 3 to 4, texting aimlessly to everyone. And at 4, a budget meeting. Hmm. I can push the meeting to another day. Let's go with that. Okay. Verizon Wireless lets you share more with your family. Get these three phones free when you buy select Motorola phones like the Moto 755 for $69.99. The countdown's begun. ABC Monday. It's down to four stars in their last chance to make it to the finals. Nobody wants to win this competition more than me. Nobody. ABC's Dancing with the Stars live Monday, 8, 7 central on ABC. From bad to worse, the Power of Five tracks a white forecast after today's heavy rains and a break in the case after a local man is killed in a carjacking tonight on the news. Ground control to major time. Commencing countdown, engines on. Check ignition and may God's love. Be with you. This is ground control to major time. You really met the grave. I love steak, man. Enjoy your steaks, gentlemen. Is this it? You in order? Oh, valet's getting mine. I'm not a steak guy anymore, you know? <laughs> there it is. Triple steak burrito. See, I'm more of a triple steak kind of guy. Oh. 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 Taco Bell's new triple steak burrito. Steak, steak, and more grilled marinated steak. There's steak night, then there's triple steak night. Triple steak, guys, that's what we are. In here. Deals on high tech electronics Sunday night on News Channel 5 at 11. We welcome you back to Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines. ACC showdown in Tallahassee. 14 nothing BC leads as we begin the second quarter Christian Ponder on the pitch 
And let's check in with Lisa. Well, Brent, uh, the fact that Christian Ponder was named the starter at the beginning of the season came as somewhat of a surprise to some people. Remember, Drew Weatherford did have the starting job. And uh, I asked Bobby Bowden about it, and he said Jimbo Fisher went with Ponder just because of his mobility. But I did ask Christian Ponder, how did that work with you and Drew Weatherford? I know you guys are close, but what was that like? And he said, in a word, it was a little bit awkward, but we're getting through it. Brent? Lisa, Drew Weatherford deserves very high marks for he is how he has handled losing his starting job as a senior high class young man and now Ponder's got one wide open that's Rod Owens and a penalty flag on top of it. West Davis can't believe the flag was a 30 yard reception run. It's helmet to helmet. It's not a late hit. It's just. Puts the foul. Helmet contact. Yeah. Defense number 45. Half of this is in the goal. First down. Remember, Brent, the last blitz by Herzlick result was an interception. Here he comes again on the blitz. This time, they're going to hit a receiver out to the outside. The blitz comes. Nice job by Ponder getting it out. Now it's just one-on-one, -on -one, and now it's speed. Getting an athlete in space and a great block there to turn him loose down a corner. Davis comes high, and that was the call. It wasn't that he was out of bounds. He came high. Terrific job by Greg Carr, the receiver, just mm -hmm. to hold up his man enough yep. to create that space on the outside first down and goal hand off battling is Marcus Sims brother of a pretty good linebacker out of Florida State junior from Tallahassee had the unfortunate thing happen to him they were they were going in for a win over Georgia Tech and the defensive player just got the helmet right on the ball I've mm. seen it several times just kind of knocked it yep. loose it was just one of those things fumbled at the goal line and uh, Florida State might have won that game yep and they'd still be working on a long long winning streak after that horrendous performance against Wake Forest here they are threatening for the first time play fake by Ponder who's going to keep it good runner looking for end zone foot race touchdown nose A little bit of foot speed by the quarterback. It was that pass play down the sideline, which set up this touchdown. And here comes Gano. Hasn't missed an extra point this year. Sean Powell is the holder. Good hold by Powell. It's exactly what we're talking about with Christian Ponder. He wants to throw this football off to his right. He's looking to the right before he decides to take off with it. He decides to make a decision and not forcing the ball. Nobody's open. Now he's going to step up, and this gives you an idea of how athletic he is. There's Herzlick, the best defender from Boston College. He gets to the outside of him and then shows you his speed to the corner. This is something that after the Virginia Tech game, he wasn't as willing to do. He took a shot on the ribs. He's healthy now and willing to give this Florida State offense this look. And obviously, anytime you have a running quarterback, it's an added element for any defense to have to deal with. The Pacific Life game summary from this ACC showdown. We can take a look at some of the numbers, which had been very one sided until that drive. Now the yards are pretty much dead even. And uh, points off turnovers. Uh, the pick six is the only difference in the game. Yeah, the, 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 pick, the pick six for Boston College, the first quarter dominated by Boston College, but we keep bringing this up. The last three wins for this Florida State team. They've trailed by 10 early, fought their way back to win the football game. And I think that's the difference is having a quarterback that this team can rally around and believes that they can come back and win. And we'll see if they can do it tonight. Harrison Smith are back deep. 
fielded at the 10 yard line by Smith. And let's go to Matt Weiner for an update on Alabama, Matt. Hi, Brent. Verizon Wireless takes us to Tuscaloosa, where a 46-yard punt return by Javier Arenas set up John Parker Wilson. One-yard plunge. It breaks a stretch of 13 straight quarters in which Alabama didn't score an offensive touchdown against Mississippi State. Bama's on the board more ways than one and now leading 12-7 over on ESPN. And here, Boston College leads Florida State 14 7 but the Knowles are coming off their first touchdown the crowd alive again coming back with Harris so they have alternated Montel Harris and Josh Hayden as their running backs Montel struck early on a 47 yard run setting up their opening touchdown behind Costanzo Ramsey Tennant Claiborne and Lapham. Here's your big offensive line. Anderson's your tight end. Second and seven. Eagles would like to wear down this defensive front a little bit if they can. Going to bring the end around with Gunnell. Good block by Anderson, but quickly up for support that time was McClure. Almost every handoff that Boston College has had to these backs, they have one of the receivers coming around and usually they're faking the handoff. This time they give it to Gunnell and these Florida State defenders, they don't know if the guy coming around in the reverse has the ball or he doesn't. That time, great discipline to be there to provide uh, the, the stop here for Florida State. Boston College two of five so far on third down. Let's see if Andrews brings pressure this time. He's going to put four down. They're coming. Crane gets it off for a first down, beats the blitz again. Justin Jarvis, the junior from Connecticut, Bloomfield, Connecticut, picks up the first down. Great communication by the offensive line of Boston College. A nice job of picking up the blitz, communicating. And how about the quick decision by Crane? That's been the criticism on him. How does he deal with the pressure? And this time he does a nice job, finds Jarvis coming underneath. An easy throw, but a quick decision, which is good to see from Chris Crane. who slips and a little bit short of the line of scrimmage and uh, Lisa how about uh, Chris Crane uh, is he close to Matt Ryan still well uh, Brent, you know Matt Ryan is certainly very busy in Atlanta these days but I got a chance to get a couple of questions to him in Atlanta and I asked him about his relationship with Chris he said they're very close and he's given him some advice to keep a level head he said that's tough to do as a quarterback and I'm going through the same thing here in the NFL there's some games where you play well other times where you don't play as well as you like I'm telling Chris you just have to play steady and keep working hard yeah Matt Ryan right now <laughs> wow, the leader in the clubhouse for the offensive rookie of the year for sure with the Atlanta Falcons they play Denver this week that'll be a tough game in Atlanta Crane has a good pocket comes back to Jarvis so Justin being very active here number 82 for the Eagles I thought it was interesting to hear Steve Logan this week telling us you look at Chris Crane you look at his size 6'4 about 245 pounds runs a 4 7 2 40 so he has some mobility and athleticism huge arm he just lacks reps he needs to have a chance to continue to go out there and I said to Steve Logan who spent a lot of time in NFL Europe there he is does he have a chance maybe to be the next Matt Castle he said Absolutely, that's a perfect example. And yeah, Matt Castle, a backup at USC, find a couple of Heisman Trophy winners, and now the starter for the Patriots. For Crane, snaps it off, and that's a well thrown ball. For a first and ten across midfield, and that's Gunnell. And you know, he showed good size on this, Herbie, and a good delivery. Offensive line tonight for Boston College, you cannot say enough about the wall that they're putting up against the speed of Florida State. But the receivers, you have to be able to make a move in man to man coverage. The protection is there. And right now, Chris Crane's in a bit of a zone and a nice rhythm early in this game, throwing good football so far. He's got some faith in that offensive line. Oh. See how he stands in there? Oh, my gosh. It's he, like a wall of those big boys yeah, up front. He doesn't have rabbit feet. Nope. He knows that big uglies will hold it up there for him. 
left tackle move. Yeah. That'll cost him five, and that hurts, and Crane knows it. There's a killer. Cross to the snap. False start. 74. Offense. That's a five-yard penalty. Costanzo and you know, Everett Brown will do that out of uh, out of tackles when they when they move him around like that. The Knowles have always had mm -hmm. at least one and maybe several outstanding defensive linemen. And here's here's this year's version. And they're saying that he will be more than likely a first round pick in April. As far as his speed he's only a junior but if he decides to come out he could potentially be a first rounder because of that speed and ability to come off the edge. Play fake by Crane is sacked. Fumble picked up by the Knowles down at the 30 yard line. That punishing defense. Ne Moffitt. Nephi Moffitt coming off. We've talked so much tonight about Everett Brown that Moffitt isn't as quick, but he's very powerful off the, at the, from the top off to the right. Goes right around Lapham very easily. And as Crane wants to throw this football, the speed, and that's why I was so impressed with how they were protecting the speed, finally gets through to put the pressure on Crane and another big break for Florida State. You know who's on the bottom? Big old Everett. <laughs> he had the pigs. Fumble and uh, whistle. So he was going down to save it, and knee hit the ground. Well, his center stepped on him as he was pulling out. McMahon, it's not his fault. I mean, the quarterback's got to get out of there. That'll happen from time to time, but it sets his Florida State offense now back in a big way after such a huge play by Moffitt. Now blitz from the other side and they're going to get a sack back near midfield. That is B.J. Raji the senior. Mm. Beautiful defensive tackles on this team. The difference between Raji and Brace probably is the, the athletic ability and quickness of big number 90. That time he just goes right through this Florida State offensive line and again shows that quickness by not only getting back there but chasing down Smith and pulling him down. Two seniors, they're both going to get jobs, folks, <laughs> when they leave BC. No doubt about that. They're not going to be standing in any line. They're going to be employed. Those two tackles. Seven and a half minutes. Two and a half. Ponder is back. Throws downfield. Intercepted. Second pick of the night. And this time it is the freshman from Cleveland, Donnie Fletcher, as Ponder threw high. And Fletcher makes interception number 20 on the season for Boston College. Couple tonight for, for all the good that Christian Ponder does. He's still a sophomore still makes mistakes that young quarterbacks will make and he'd love to have that one back. Time out with BC leading it by seven. At Southwest Airlines we don't charge fees on the first check bag or the second. At Southwest Airlines we don't charge fees on window or aisle seats. At Southwest Airlines, we don't charge fees on curbside check-in. And at Southwest Airlines, we don't charge fees on phone reservations. At Southwest Airlines, we don't believe in charging for things that should be free. So book now at Southwest.com. Low fares, no hidden fees. My mother used to say, always keep your heart open. It's the only way to give and receive love. That's the inspiration behind my Open Hearts collection at Kay Jewelers. I worked with Kay because as the number one jewelry store in America, they've brought more hearts together than, well, just about anyone. My wish is that my open heart design becomes a universal symbol of hope and love. Because if your heart is open, love will always find its way in. What is he doing? Said something about not driving through Texas without getting a shot of a bull. Ah! Guys? Ooh. Maybe we should help him. First one to get an empty chip? Taco Bell's new fully loaded nachos. Loaded with toppings so there are no empty chips. Not it. Not it. He seems angry! Not it. 
Not it. Not it. Oh, not it. What is wrong with you? Taco Bell's new fully loaded nachos. <laughs> not it. Chevy Traverse. Seats eight passengers and offers an EPA estimated 24 miles per gallon highway. It's not a myth. It's everything you've ever wished for. And then some. We have to go back, Kate. We have to go back! ABC's Lost, the premiere event, Wednesday, January 21st on ABC. 14-7, Spaz has the defense around him, and uh, they forced two turnovers here tonight. <laughs> they sure have. Fletcher comes up with this, and this is something that a young quarterback, it's third and 25, you just had a big turnover, you want to take advantage, you hold on too long. You hold on and think you can force it in there and make the throw. He throws it high. Poor decision and a poor throw. And Fletcher, a true freshman, as you said, out of Cleveland, able to capitalize. How do you get away from the bucket? <laughs> I guess they can't take them all, right? <laughs> First down and 10. Homecoming night here in Tallahassee. And the Eagles trying to spoil it. And they hand it off to Josh Hayden. He is stopped. So here is Mr. Oh, Hurts. here we go. Here, here we it go. comes now. Here we go. All right. Come on, Doc. Circle the wagons. Ah, what do we got? Here we go. Who's the only coach to beat Bobby Bowden <laughs> at a Florida State homecoming? Now think about why we might ask that question. So give it some thought. Okay. Okay. There's got to be, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we don't bumble more. Guy's not dead. I got okay, it. it. I got it. Okay. I already got it right now. Anyway, okay. Good. I'm loving it. I got it I'm right now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm lying. Didn't even need a text message this time. Second down and nine. Crane rolls in trouble, throws it away. Not only is he in the building, <laughs> he might be standing on the same sideline. <laughs> I'm just, just a guess. Uh, Herbie, you jumped all over that one. You didn't peek, did you? No. You didn't look at Jackie. No, cars, I right? thought of a team that could be a homecoming opponent. Who would they bring in here? And then you started, you know, I. Two and two together. That's good, man. Third down and nine for Chris Crane. From the gun, has time. Fires got the first down. Came back to Jarvis. This is a defense that it's supposed to be tough to execute and pick up third downs. Look at the throw here. Look at the tight window in between those linebackers that Chris Crane's able to squeeze that into. I'm telling you, this guy has all the physical ability that you want. And I think a lot of people right now or Boston College fans are sitting at home saying, where has this been from Chris Crane? He'll show you that, and then he'll throw two or three interceptions. But right now, again, he's, he's got a nice flow going tonight. And he's five of eight on third downs, the Eagles are. That's pretty good now. And here comes Hayden. He picked up about three yards. So here we go, Herbie. Give everybody the answer I'm now going, as we bring this up. I'm going Chuck Yamato from yeah. North Carolina State. So he says Chuck Yamato with North Carolina State. He's there right he on the money. Oh, my. Was that a Philip Rivers team? You know what? You know, since he became an assistant again, where's those shades he used to wear? I know. Huh? <laughs> with the, the shoes and yeah. the shades yeah. and the velour, he's always entertaining. I, I'll tell you something about him, folks. No one, no one has ever recruited South Florida for Florida State any better than Chuck Amato. The Canes did not want to see him back in Tallahassee. First and ten. And that was Hayden again. Uh, let's go back to that game. There they are. Here's the shade. Yeah, yeah. And he's got the big game. I think it was Robinson who broke free. Put it up there for the Wolf Rex. Last chance. Incomplete. Look at Amato's reaction. Look at his eyes in his face. Beat the old man. Oh, Didn't get any better than that night, huh? And now he's back. Bobby Bowden's staff. The old coach. Kind of a chairman of the board, folks, as you're watching kind of 
stand off to the side does he put on the headset like he did in the old days Jimbo the coach waiting he'll take over and uh, they wave that one off incomplete let's go to Matt Weiner for an update Matt Reds our nominee for the Pontiac game changing performance comes from the Oregon State Beavers who are now two wins from Pasadena James Rogers sure looked like he could smell the roses he went 86 yards on a kick return on the Beavers first touch of the day you can vote for your Pontiac game changing performance starting tomorrow morning at 9 on ESPN.com Matt the Rogers brother Jack was a great rusher but mark it down circle it next week down in Tucson tough game for Oregon Huge State. Game a pack 10. Hayden stopped by that defensive front. That's Mincy number 94. He's made a couple of plays tonight. Steve Logan trying to balance between Chris Crane's ability to throw from time to time against man coverage throwing just enough of that in there. And then getting back to running the football. Third down efficiency so far tonight has been outstanding, but here comes another third and long. This is a tough one. It's a real tough one. They've hit five of eight. Now, will they rush They're... three and drop eight where they had some success or they bring the pressure? Let's see now. It looks like they're putting three down, but they're showing a little plus on the outside. Backers moving up, Crane throwing for it. Got a man snapped out of the air by number two, Brandon Robinson. Another first down on the third down, and that time third and a bunch. Chris Crane likes to see man coverage. You know, when, when you go back as a quarterback with not a lot of game experience, you rather face man to man coverage because it's like backyard football. My guy's going to beat your guy. Man under this time. He waits for his receiver to break free and pull away from the defender. A great throw up high away from the defender. And Robinson, an experienced receiver, goes up and makes a huge play. 20 yards on a third and 12. Crane keeps it. Fumble! Knowles have got it. I'm not sure if Crane didn't change his mind a little late on that. It looked like there was a botched transition there with the running back and the quarterback. It's the Kirby. proper call. The defensive end closes down on Hayden. But a good job here by Mickey Andrews bringing his outside linebacker, Verdell, to shoot upfield. As soon as he came off the fake, the read, Verdell was right there to come after the quarterback. And I don't think he was expecting him to be on him that fast. But Thacker recovered it. That's a second fumble turnover by Crane on a dead ball unsportsmanlike conduct Boston College 15 yards first down he's looking over there at that sideline we'll take a break and uh, we'll see if we can sort that out I think one of the players may have taken his helmet off the Cadillac Red Tag event. Right now, you'll find unprecedented values on our best-selling luxury models. From the award-winning Cadillac CTS to the legendary Escalade, now's the time to move up to Cadillac. During the first ever Cadillac Red Tag event, the price on the tag is the price you pay. Providing incredible values like this. See your Cadillac dealer. Seat movers, that's what you'd call us. We'd buy seats up in the nosebleeds and then move down. We'd look for no-shows. Who sometimes did show. Soda spillers. That is going to leave a stain. Go, 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 and go. then we'd swoop right in for the perfect seats. Hello. And goodbye. Want great seats? Your city card could get them. And now, every time you use a participating city card, you're in it for a chance to go on a three-city tour with Nickelback. Want the story of a lifetime? Your city card can help you write it. When a major hospital wanted to add on to their benefits package at no direct cost to the company, their very first word was... Affleck! Affleck! Find out more at affleckforbusiness.com. <sighs> Kung Fu Panda is the number one DVD in America. What? It's one of the best movies of the year. And now you can get Kung Fu Panda at an unbelievably low price. This week... This is the greatest day in Kung Fu history! Just go! DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda. Get yours today. Saturday Night Football on ABC, brought to you by Southwest Airlines, low fares, no hidden fees. 
the 2009 Cadillac CTS. And Aflac. Ask about it at work. Yeah, well, uh, you know, sometimes when you're uh, down in the pile, you get the business. And, and Claiborne was getting the business, and, and he was telling the refs, I'm getting poked in the eye, and he took the helmet off. And, and they said, you can't take a helmet off out here, and they penalized the young man, and that's, that's kind of a bad break. Getting the business and giving the business. Yeah, there. yeah, swing, swinging outside now on first down. Oh. And that's Preston Parker, number five. Well, these linebackers are going to hit you. They're going to pop you whenever you decide to turn back inside. I would definitely advise Florida State be looking for 34, 35, or 94, because if they get a chance to, to knock you out, they will. That time McLaughlin right there. So uh, Ponder now has thrown a couple of interceptions. Crane has fumbled a couple of times. and. The Knowles have three minutes to work with, trailing by seven. And they come back with uh, Smith as the running back. They use the veteran and Francois. Robert Francois making the stop, the linebacker from Highlands, Texas. This Florida State team, I keep bringing up, has shown a lot of resiliency. They keep getting breaks. They keep getting the ball back to Ponder to give them the chance. And Herbie, the Knowles do not have a third down conversion here tonight. They are uh, 0 of 3 as opposed to the 6 of 9 for BC. So so Ponder and uh, the Eagles trying to pick one up here. And he does. On the slant fumble. Was he down? It's Rod Owens. Referee Cherry marking the, uh, the first down. Well, th this is a defense that when they don't blitz, they're very aggressive with their underneath coverage. I think he recovered it himself. Yeah. I think this ball is loose for sure. No it's, question. It's definitely loose. And he grabbed it and did a terrific job. He's lucky to get that back. Yes, and that was, was. A, a, a good throw here by Ponder. It's tough to squeeze that in against Boston College with their underneath coverage. Now coming back. To the right side with uh, Antoine. Francois again. Down inside of two minutes now, uh, Herbie. They uh, they need to pick up their tempo here they need a little to pick bit. Pick it up. They still have three timeouts. Uh, it's it's going to be tough here. They're going to need a big play from one of their receivers. They've only rushed for six yards here in the first half. That's hard to believe. And that's so that's far been their this game. year. That's 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 what they've relied on. But this defense is really moving well to the football right now, not giving Florida State anything. This is the pistol look. The tailback directly behind the quarterback. who play fake, going to keep it himself. Stays inbounds, battling, did not get the first down. McLaughlin is there for the Eagles, and they burn a timeout. So we'll take a break. And when you all come back, the Knowles will have a minute three, trailing by seven. event right now you'll find unprecedented values on our best-selling luxury models from the award-winning Cadillac CTS to the legendary Escalade now's the time to move up to Cadillac during the first ever Cadillac red tag event the price on the tag is the price you pay providing incredible values like this see your Cadillac dealer are you gonna go for it? This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. No, crazy is not connecting your new flat screen to direct TV and missing out on your favorite channels in HD. Get the most TV for your money. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV. Red, black. When you want to get away. Both. 
Enterprise will pick you up and get you going to romantic weekends. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. You're under arrest for kidnapping. Thursday, Detective Sam Tyler will reunite with his family. Are you saying that kidnapper is your father? That's exactly what I'm saying. Getting one step closer to why he's stuck in 1973. Maybe this is the reason why I'm here. If you haven't seen ABC's new hit show, Life on Mars, this is a great time to start. ABC's Life on Mars, all new Thursday, 10, 9 central, after a new Grey's Anatomy on ABC. I still don't believe it. Gerard Phelan catching this ball. And now in bronze, the Flutie man, Doug Flutie. Outside the stadium up there in uh, Boston, that famous Hail Mary pass against Miami in the 80s down in the, uh, the Orange Bowl. Of course, uh, there's his nephew. And that's Billy Flutie playing for Boston College. We'll be hearing from Doug. Craig James, we saw Craig's son with Texas Tech. We'll see his son again next week against Oklahoma. And of course, Big John Saunders will be along. So they're coming up on the Capital One halftime report. Meanwhile, Christian Ponder and the Knowles are trying to get even. They got about 58 seconds away. One of the things they do have, there's a flag on display. They do have one of the best field goal specialists in the country if they wind up having to settle for it. No doubt about that. Offside. Defense. Number 52. Five yards from the previous spot. The results of the penalty is a first down. Brent, we talked about how Florida State's not running the football. It's because of the push in the middle by Brace and Raji. This is a good call to get a look at the push up front. They are dominating the line of scrimmage in the interior. This time, Frischer decides to get it to the outside on third and one. One thing has hurt BC. That's a six penalty, and they come through and they rip Ponder down. That is Marcellus Bowman, who has one of the two interceptions coming on the safety blitz. Wide open timeout call by Ponder and the Knowles here. 45 seconds remaining. Jimbo not happy. Staying in touch with friends can be tough. But if you have looped from the App Store, you know what they're up to. where they are and if they want to grab lunch that's the iPhone solving life's dilemmas one app at a time A lot goes through your mind after an accident. But with Liberty Mutual, insurance issues won't. Because we offer unlimited rental coverage, new car replacement, and accident forgiveness to help ease your mind. And that's our policy. Liberty Mutual Insurance. To look at it, you'd never suspect that this was part of a working landfill. That's because Waste Management works closely with communities and the Wildlife Habitat Council to make sure we can all live peacefully together. Today, our landfills provide more than 17,000 acres of protected land for wildlife habitat. From everyday collection to environmental protection, think green, think waste management. Sunday, November 23rd, you've never seen an American Music Awards lineup bigger, hotter, and sweeter than this. With performances by Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, Kanye West, Rihanna, Christina Aguilera, Jonas Brothers, Mariah Carey, Coldplay, Alicia Keys, New Kids on the Block, Pink, Taylor Swift, plus a special appearance by Aerosmith, Steven Tyler, and Joe Perry. Can you believe it? Jimmy Kimmel hosts the 2008 American Music Awards live Sunday, November 23rd at 7, 6 central on ABC. Well, you can see what happens when he took that nine yard loss and that sack. You can see where they've got to go all the way to the eight yard line. They've got a second down and 19 now. And uh, prior to the snap, line judge has got a false start. Sanders again, right tackle. Cross to the snap, false start, 77. Offense. That's a five yard penalty. They're going to make it interesting for Gonneau. Yeah, they are. I'll tell you, they're backing up now. Trying to challenge him, maybe, after How he's many five, he made straight, from five straight from 50. Yeah. They don't believe it. They want to see six. 
Frank Spaziani, the defensive coordinator from Boston College, confusing. Ponder the quarterback and the offensive line with so many different looks, disguising coverage, really created, has created a lot of problems for the Knowles. Look at a move Look late now. Yeah. Coming again with a corner blitz this time. They get to the 21 yard line with Greg Carr making the reception. Going to try to run a play here, save that timeout unless you have to use it. You're going to use it. They said we're going to use it real fast. And yeah, let's go to Matt Weiner. All right, Brent, the Sports Center right now is powered by Vizio. USC continues to be outgained by Stanford, but the Trojans have taken the lead. This Stephon Johnson touchdown run right now is the difference. And Troy has four times the offensive output of LSU and returned this interception for a touchdown. Troy leads at LSU 24 3. John Saunders and the fellas will have details coming up at the half. A stunner. If that holds on, they're gonna they're gonna quit complaining about Nick Saban being in Alabama, and old uh, Les Miles is gonna start to feel some heat. The hat will be a little tighter. Yeah, it will. National championship or not, life in the SEC. What have you done for me lately? Oh, sir. Three conference losses and a loss to Troy, maybe. Well, let's see uh, how this third down is. They got it down to third and 13. Antoine Smith is the. Uh, the running back and now Spaziano. He wants to uh, talk to the defense. Frank Spaziani, the defensive coordinator, and uh, Bobby. Bobby, he likes to talk about his uh, his newfound toy. He finally got a kicker who's not wide right, huh? Then you'd probably have to say your most valuable player is Gano. I mean, all of a sudden we start kicking field goals. You know, that's our legacy down here: wide right, wide left, too short. Never too high, you know, but uh, uh, I, Gano has kicked, what, 17 field goals in a row? And I think five of them over 50 or more, you know, that's that's pretty been one of the biggest surprises. Missed his first one this year, and he's kicked 17 consecutive, and certainly he's back in workable distance now. But, of course, 50 yards is, is workable if you've hit five <laughs> from that distance. Plus, nice, uh, nice breeze behind him to help him out. Here's your third down. They've got 35 seconds to work with. Four man rush. Out of bounds into the stands really. He made sure that that was not the third interception. So I'll Gano will <laughs> trot out. He's a little gun shy and Jimbo Fisher's saying it's OK to throw it away. The problem is. You had a wide receiver wide open at the three yard line. And, and I, as a young quarterback, the last thing, we don't have any timeouts, don't take a sack. He got rid of that ball before he could get sacked and left an open receiver just sitting there. Except for Gano, a 39 yarder. Timeout has been called. It's a chip shot. Coach Jag. I'm not sure you can freeze this. <laughs> you can. <laughs> you know, how can they change that rule? That's a. This rule? Have you ever been aggravated watching an NFL game and they're getting ready to, they just, and they're getting ready to kick a field goal and all of a sudden, boom! Time. I, I don't like it. I don't either. I'm but I don't know what they you can to do to. Well, that one wasn't too bad. No, it's it's that when the ball's it's about to be no, snapped okay. and then, yeah, right there. I don't like no, it. No, I I agree. <laughs> How about this kicker? I mean, you're doing everything you can to jinx him. <laughs> but I never mentioned a no hitter. <laughs> That's true. That's true. This would be big, though. The way this half, the way this half has gone for for Boston College, I think they've they've dominated the, the game for the most part. If if Florida State hits this, cuts it to 14-10, it's a different game in the second half. Yeah, it's uh, it's been interesting the way Boston College has played here. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got a tough defense. Uh, the offense has done just enough. They've turned it over a couple of times and. Uh, Coach Jack's done a good job up there. Chestnut. Hill. Yep, fourth and 13 now. Here we go. Don't jinx him. <laughs> <laughs> Never a doubt. <laughs> Make it 18. There's 14 10. Hey, you have your tickets right? <laughs> 
To what, you ask? Well, the... Oh, the Dr. Pepper ACC Football Championship. The 48-hour celebration of ACC football, played this year in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. You know, palm trees, sandy beaches, and this year, a lot of ACC football action. So get your tickets now for the December 6th Dr. Pepper ACC Football Championship. Because if you wait too long, it may be too late. We need to talk. We sure do. It's about sportsmanship. Sportsmanship has to be part of any competition. Coaches, student athletes, and fans must show respect, fairness, civility, honesty, and responsibility before, during, and after all athletic contests, period. I'm glad we had this talk. 18 straight field goals. Now he'll trot out to uh, kick it off here for the Knowles. He's also took over the punting duel. And you can see the blackout pants with the Seminoles down the side honoring the Seminole Nation. This is the Unconquered is the name of tonight's tussle. Seminole Indians being honored here. Twenty five seconds and uh, Squibbert and it'll be down at the thirty four yard line. So uh, there'll be 24 seconds. Folks, next Saturday night, come along. The Red Raiders at Texas Tech could be one of the games of the year as they go to Norman, Oklahoma with this high powered Graham Harrell attack. Bob Stoops and the Sooners are waiting, trying to force a three way tie top of the Big 12 South. Sam Bradford, another Heisman Trophy candidate. Eight Eastern. Kirk uh, might be a pretty good football. Game. I'm not going to be able to sleep this week. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to get to Norman. I may go there on Monday. Well, here we had 24 points in the first half. We'll probably get 24 points in the first quarter in Norman next week. But uh, pretty good football game going on here in Tallahassee. Come on back for the second half. BC leads it. They're a touchdown underdog here tonight. 14 10. And of course, John Saunders, Craig James, and Doug Flutie at our Times Square studio will be coming up next with the Capital One halftime show. Come on, let's go. The Chevy Red Tag event. See some red and save some green because the price on the tag is the price you pay. And with financing that fits, you get access to hundreds of banks competing to get you the best rate possible. During the Red Tag event, buy select Silverado regular cabs in inventory for around $13.5. That's a total value of over $6,200. See your local Chevy dealer. This is my family. This is their new HD TV. That doesn't look like HD. I don't think it's hooked up right. And this is me. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens this time when my family goes to Best Buy. This LG is perfect for you, and Geek Squad can set it up. I don't know what HD is, but I don't like it. HD done right. Only from Best Buy. You happier. ABC Sunday, 8, 7 Central. It's an extreme home rescue. A dedicated firefighter and devoted father to eight adopted children. He changed the lives of these kids. Will get a makeover that will save his family. <laughs> and ignite your spirit. This house is a brand new fresh start. ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition. All new Sunday at 8, 7 central on ABC. I like believing in happily ever after. The tale begins with neighborhood gossip. We're the sole heirs of her fortune. A nasty rumor. Why are you trying to crucify me? A forbidden affair. Are you really pregnant? And ends in murder. Fire! Go, just go. Hey, he's still in here. It's the biggest episode of this season. Fire! It's locked. All new Desperate Housewives, Sunday at 9, 8 central, followed by a new Brothers and Sisters on ABC. Welcome, everyone, to the Capital One Halftime Report. John Saunders, Craig James, 
and Doug Flutie. The number one team in the nation is still Alabama by the skin of their teeth. Remember, they had to go to overtime against LSU. Well, they're facing Mississippi State, a team that's beaten them two years in a row. Blake McAdams' punt is blocked out of the back of the end zone by Kareem Jackson, and they get off to a good start with a safety. But then Thomas Dara throws deep to Smith for the touchdown, 31-yard strike, 7-5 to five lead. Household names right there, pitch and catch. Yeah, John Parker <laughs> Wilson sneaks it in. And then Javier Arenas, 80-yard punt return for a touchdown to give Alabama some space. You know what, Alabama's doing what they need to do in this football game. People that know this game expected a close football game. Alabama taking care of business. Don't think Mississippi State's out of it either. USC against Stanford. Remember, Stanford beat USC a year ago. Cost them the national championship. Pritchard and Stanford looking to pull off another upset. Gerhardt, 40 yards, takes it down to the one. You know, the Stanford offensive line was controlling this game through most of the first half. They're running the ball down USC's throat. Stephon Johnson takes a handoff and goes seven yards in, and now USC has started to take control. Keep in mind, Stanford's football players are the same student athletes that Notre Dame's recruiting. One group's playing pretty good right now. Which one? Stanford. <laughs> South Carolina against Florida. Steve Spurrier won a national championship there in 96, but he didn't have Tim Tebow throwing to Deontay Thompson, 46 yards for a touchdown. Too many turnovers in this game for South Carolina. South Carolina was just gambling a lot. They were trying to take a lot of chances, and I guess they had to. This number one ranked defense of South Carolina, what's going on? You can't catch that fella. Percy Harvin takes off. That's the worst loss ever for that man, Steve Spurrier. Texas, number three in the nation, facing Kansas. Jordan Shipley, this is on a fourth down. Watch a guy go airborne here. A little springboard up and over for Shipley to get the first down on the fake. Mac Brown, they would go on to score to take a 21 to nothing lead. Todd Reesing throws to Desmond Briscoe. The ball's deflected. Watch Briscoe on the helmet. Looked like the Super Bowl. Absolutely. Same uniform, too. Pinning it against the helmet. And Colt McCoy, too much of him, finds Brandon Collins. 36 yards on the touchdown. You know, the offense did their job today, but I was really impressed with Texas's defense, keeping the Jayhawks to only 47 yards rushing. Texas maintaining the positioning that they have right now. All right, so all Missouri had to do to win the Big 12 North was beat Iowa State. Chase Daniel was ready, as was Jeremy Macklin, 43 yards. Another big, big day for Chase, but this locks up the, the North. If they go to the championship game and win, the North wins the championship, that throws the big wrench into the system. We want to talk about a wrench, LSU, Hosting Troy. How did this game get on the schedule at this point of the season? Jarrett Lee's pass picked off by Terrence Moore. Takes it 22 yards for a touchdown. Troy was up 24 to 3. Oh. Boy, this will make you recruit about five or six different quarterbacks the next well, time. The big question on this one is how, what does this do to the SEC? Because hey. Alabama went to overtime with LSU. And in the perception of the SEC taking a hit like this, everybody's been asking this week Big 12 SEC. Big 12, this does not help the perception of the SEC. Absolutely. No I, you know, Big 12's got more teams in, the, in this position that with the one loss and running after it. And Texas Tech is still yeah. undefeated. So definitely Big 12 over SEC. All top five teams in BCS right now are either from the SEC or the Big 12 South. And this one does not look good for the SEC. Alabama's overtime win would not look good. Stick around. Plenty more scores and highlights. We'll let you know if there are any upsets on the day. The Capital One Halftime Report, brought to you by Capital One Card Lab at CapitalOne.com. What's in your wallet? Come on, we're late. Move, people. Boss, we're two continents behind schedule. Oh, hold your eggnog. I'm building my own Capital One credit card. I'll go with cash back and a jolly good rate. But, sir, the reindeer are getting antsy. Now I'm going to upload a photo from my beach house. <laughs> Mrs. Claus is a lucky woman, sir. Yes, she is. Personalize your card at Capital One Card Lab. Choose your rewards, interest rate, even upload your own image at CapitalOne.com. What's in your wallet? Let's roll! For 150 years, the values of Florida State University remain unwavering. Strength, the capacity for endurance. Skill, using one's knowledge creatively. Character, 
moral excellence, and social responsibility. Together, these values shape leaders who advance our state, our nation, and our world. Strength, skill, character. Florida State University. I chose Boston College, and my senior thesis was published as a book. I was named to USA Today's All Academic First Team. I launched a program to fund job training for the homeless. I curated an exhibition at Boston's Museum of Fine Arts. I got a great education, and I was selected in the first round of the NFL Draft. I chose Boston College, and Boston College changed my world. Welcome back once again to the Capital One Halftime Report. John Saunders, Craig James, and Doug Flutie in time for our No Huddle highlights. A lot has to happen, but Penn State still has hopes of getting to a national championship game. So Very little. They're thinking about the Rose Bowl, probably. <laughs> Daryl Clark drops back, goes to Derek Williams. Williams, nice catch for a touchdown. You know what? This offense is rocking and rolling. Six and zero at home this year. 274 points for them and 75 for the bad guys. That's not bad. And Evan Royster with a great 19-yard weaving run here. Yeah, he's strong. This team here now next week against Michigan State win, and they share at least a part of the Big Ten title. The Ohio State Buckeyes also still have a chance for the Big Ten title. Beanie Wells, how about this stiff arm, Doug? Just get off me, will ya? Beanie over 100, Terrell Pryor over 100, first time for Pryor in his career. Watch Beanie Wells on this one. Goes airborne Go with a little whoop. See, he's showing off now. That's just not right. He's just trying to show off a little bit and jump over people. Well, all they need is for Penn State to lose to Michigan State, and that certainly would help their cause. Uh, Ohio State would look at the Rose Bowl. Boise State against Idaho. Now take a look at Daniel Hardy. He's down, right? No, he's not. He was <laughs> sitting on top of somebody, so he gets up and goes 81 yards. It looks weird calling a game, a highlight on it for Boise State, and it's not a blue rug out there. They do play on the road sometimes. <laughs> Later in the first, Kyle Wilson back to return this punt. Takes it at the 22 and goes 78 yards. You know, Boise making their run. They're at number nine right now. They got Nevada and Fresno State left to make the Ooh. perfect run. Well, I keep waiting for Florida and Texas and Oklahoma and <laughs> Texas Tech. They're coming. Somebody just, it's like San Jose State and a few others. They're coming on the schedule next year. Georgia against Auburn. Matthew Stafford finds A.J. Green. You know what? This is a second straight week. A touchdown reception in the fourth quarter to help his ball club come back and win. Matthew Stafford, nice job. North Carolina and Maryland. Cameron Sexton throws deep. But it's picked off by Jamari McCullough, and Maryland pulls off the win. Six straight game against, or six straight win against a ranked opponent for Maryland. Wake Forest against NC State. Russell Wilson, how about the young man? This young guy has come on two touchdown passes in the last six games, 12 passes for touchdowns and no interceptions in those games. He's rocking and rolling for them. The Fighting Irish looked like they had this game wrapped up, but look at it late. This onside kick by Navy, recovered by Corey Johnson, and it gives Navy a second chance, but then Ricky Dobbs is incomplete. Charlie Weiss gets his first win this year over a winning team. And the Irish finally become bowl eligible this season. And all that talk about Charlie, now they're bowl eligible. Cal facing Oregon State. James Rogers takes the kickoff 86 yards all the way for a touchdown. How about 338 yards for the Rogers brothers today? Jack Wes, his brother, the younger one, leads the Pac-10 in rushing. He has 144 on the ground. Oregon State, big play offense, and the defense showed up as well. Did you do that addition yourself? <laughs> yes, I did. Just took me about a minute or two. All right. At Arizona? Yeah. And then at home against Oregon. That's what Oregon State is separating them from the Rose Bowl. Can they do it? Yeah, or Arizona's going to have a good offense. It's going to be a challenge to go at Arizona and play there. It'd be a monstrous atmosphere there. But they've been there. They have the confidence in this football team. I think the game against Oregon is the one where it's going to be tough for them to overcome. Yeah, you know, I think either way, they got to play good football in both games. And they got to play their best. And you know, by beating USC early in the season, obviously they can do it against anyone. They had a big punt return today by Sammy Slaughter, too. So their special teams are getting it done. Strotter. 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 Don't slaughter, Strotter. They have their fate <laughs> in their own hands. And this is the Capital One Halftime. Come on, we're late. Move, people. Boss, we're two continents behind schedule. Oh, hold your eggnog. I'm building my own Capital One credit card. I'll go with cash back and a jolly good rate. But, sir, the reindeer are getting antsy. 
Now I'm gonna upload a photo from my beach house. <laughs> Mrs. Claus is a lucky woman, sir. Yes, she is. Personalize your card at Capital One Card Lab. Choose your rewards, interest rate, even upload your own image at CapitalOne.com. What's in your wallet? Let's roll! It's time to get more out of your tires. It's time to get Cooper. Because now, during Cooper's National Take the Money and Ride event, you'll not only get unbeatable performance, you'll get a $50 rebate by mail when you buy four qualifying Cooper tires. Cooper's Take the Money and Ride event. Get your rebate form and all the details at a participating Cooper dealer or at coopertire.com. But do it today. The road and your $50 rebate are waiting. The Capital One Halftime Report, brought to you by Capital One Card Lab at CapitalOne.com. What's in your wallet? You're under arrest for kidnapping. Thursday, Detective Sam Tyler will reunite with his family. Are you saying that kidnapper is your father? That's exactly what I'm saying. Getting one step closer to why he's stuck in 1973. Maybe this is the reason why I'm here. If you haven't seen ABC's new hit show, Life on Mars, this is a great time to start. ABC's Life on Mars, all new Thursday, 10, 9 central, after a new Grey's Anatomy on ABC. Sunday, November 23rd, you've never seen an American Music Awards lineup bigger, hotter, and sweeter than this. With performances by Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, Kanye West, Rihanna, Christina Aguilera, Jonas Brothers, Mariah Carey, Coldplay, Alicia Keys, New Kids on the Block, Pink, Taylor Swift, plus a special appearance by Aerosmith, Steven Tyler, and Joe Perry. Can you believe it? Jimmy Kimmel hosts the 2008 American Music Awards, live Sunday, November 23rd at 7, 6 central on ABC. ESPN's coverage of week 11 of the National Football League begins tomorrow morning with NFL Countdown. For more, here's Chris Berman. Thank you. It's week 11 on Sunday NFL Countdown. Matt Ryan sure hasn't looked like a rookie quarterback. He's got ice water going through his veins. We find out how this rookie saved the Falcons franchise. Kenny traveled to the Music City. Titan remind me of a sad, slow song with sad, slow lyrics. Where the stars lined up in support of the perfect Titans in this week's main event. It's all ahead on Sunday NFL Countdown, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. Now let's send it to Mike Tirico. The weather's getting bad. It means the importance of NFL games increases. And here in Buffalo, it means must get it done time for the Bills. They opened 4-0 and 5-1, and but they've lost their last three games in the division. There's a lot of pressure on their quarterback, Trent Edwards, against the Browns Monday. What's interesting in this game is Trent Edwards had three shots in college at Stanford against Brady Quinn at Notre Dame and lost all three. Trent Edwards, who remembers everything in his life, <laughs> would like to reverse that. I, I love when you talk quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to bring it around to Brady Quinn, who you just mentioned. And look at Brady Quinn in his first start last week. His first NFL start, a very efficient game, throwing the short passing game. That's what he is very effective at. If you spin this forward to this game, Yes, they've got to go downfield. Brady Quinn now has 11 days to prepare for his second start. I think he'll be a much more effective passing game down the field. With a very disappointing season for Cleveland, their last chance at saving it, Monday night here in Orchard Park. See you then. Mike, thanks a lot. Your second half is coming up after this message and a word from our ABC stations. America's biggest automobile company and its dealers want to help get you the loan you need. It's General Motors financing that fits, offering access to millions of dollars and hundreds of lenders to help get you behind the wheel. It's our way of putting you and America in the driver's seat. During the red tag event, the price on the tag is the price you pay. Get it on clip for $32,446 for a total value of $2,419. See your local Buick Pontiac GMC dealer. Introducing Taco Bell's new 89 cent Volcano Taco. With spicy lava sauce, it could be the spiciest taco ever. Can we eat my Volcano Taco? <laughs> Don't look at me. Why pay more for heat when you can think outside the bun? When this shoe store added Aflac to its employee benefits package at no direct cost to the company, mm. Mm. it was a perfect fit. Let's do it Find out more at forbusiness.com. Lost.
The premier event, Wednesday, January 21st on ABC. From bad to worse, the power of five tracks a white forecast after today's heavy rains and a break in the case after a local man is killed in a carjacking tonight on the news. If you want clean, great tasting water, what are your options? This test meter shows tap water can have thousands of unseen dissolved solids. Bottled water is expensive and many still have dissolved solids. Here's some rusty tap water. Now you could use other filter products like this or this but they're only capable of removing a small percentage of dissolved solids. Introducing Zero Water. It reads all zeros. Zero Water is the only patented five-stage ion exchange filter guaranteed to remove 100% of the detectable dissolved solids in your water. And we give you the meter to prove it. To have the reading come back zero, it was amazing. You can taste the difference. Hard evidence that your water is really Zero water. The Zero Water 5 stage ion exchange filter, the Zero Water pitcher, and the independent TDS meter are available at your local Walgreens. Call or go online now for a special coupon worth $10 off the purchase price of your first Zero Water filtration system. Watch Wheel of Fortune weeknights at 7 on Channel 5. Start here with News Channel 5 at 11 all next week. Sunday, seconds count, but will help arrive in time. An exclusive investigation, broken ambulances. Monday, cutting your prescription drug costs in half to save money. See if it's safe to split your pills. Thursday, triple your storage space. We put vacuum bags to the test. See if they really work. Start here all next week on News Channel 5 at 11. Information, when you want it, how you want it. We welcome you back to Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines. We're in Tallahassee, Florida, where the Florida State Seminoles are trailing the underdog Boston College Eagles by 4 14 10. Uh, with Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brett Musburger right now. Kirk, uh, let's talk about the two quarterbacks here. Well, you first hear a big David Cook fan there. Let's listen to the oh, music. Yeah, I know sure. you were talking about that during the break. <laughs> but it, it starts with Boston College coming into this game on the road, Brent. They took the first drive and said, hey, so much for coming on the road and playing at Tallahassee. Big touchdown early. Took, the, took five plays to go right down the field. Chris Crane, I think, played a very good first half. Early in the game, Florida State couldn't get the rhythm offensively. Ponder a pick six. Bowman takes it the distance. Then he settled down, made some plays. Took a few steps forward, took a step back. This is a big scramble to get to Knowles, their only touchdown in the first half, and to give them a chance here, and they've got some life now, down 14-10. As we take a look at our Southwest Airlines playbook with uh, the two quarterbacks being featured, let's go down below to Lisa Salters. Lisa? Well, Brian, I caught up with Coach uh, Jags coming out of the locker room, and he said, you know what, the turnovers are killing us. Our defense, fortunately, is playing really well, but on offense, we got to just string some stuff together and give Chris Crane a chance because he's playing really well. And I said, what about that onside kick early in the game on the road? What kind of message were you trying to send? He said, hey, that we're trying to win. We didn't come down here to lose. And guess what? I might do it again. <laughs> That's it, Jack. Let's see if they start the second half with it. They <laughs> the Knowles are going to handle the ball. To, uh, to start the second half, but they won the toss and uh, deferred. What a charismatic coach. Yes, second he is. Second year, I agree. Boston College, he is going to do a great job for that program. Huge fan of his. Came to the Eagles from the National Football yep. League with the Green Bay Packers. Well, at least he pooches it. On uh, one hop on the 15 yard line is Michael Ray Garvin, one of the best return men in the country, looking for daylight. And he got only 22, so the pooch was the way to do it, uh, Kirk. And the Pacific Life game summary, and of course, as Kirk has told you, the uh, quarterbacks have kind of gone back and forth in this game. But the rushing yards, Kirk, such a difference there. Florida State always comes into a game with Jimbo Fisher wanting to establish the run. First half, 14 carries, only 
four yards. Now they have had to spread the ball around. Ponders found seven different receivers in the first half, but Greg Carr and Preston Parker only one catch apiece. Smith opens as a running back, and they send him out and wide open on the outside for a first down is Preston Parker. Now remember, the Knolls are short-handed in the wide receiver position. Five were suspended. Three of the five contributed a lot to the offense. Surrency, Easterly, and Reed. And uh, so Ponder has to find different receivers. Yeah, and, and I just mentioned Parker and Carr with only one catch with all those suspensions. You would think that Parker especially would step up and be the answer tonight for the young quarterback. On first down, he completely slips after about a seven-yard gain. There's Parker again. I think... They're thinking the same thing we're thinking. Get the ball at number five. I think he's the closest thing that Florida State has to a Peter Warwick type of receiver. Uh, he's a dynamic playmaker with his potential. He's about six feet, 195 pounds, but a guy that can make you miss in the open field. Kirk, when you were down below before the game, did it seem slippery to you? Seems to me a lot of guys have slipped here. Yeah, tonight. heavy rain the last couple days here, as you know, coming down to your big time bus here. You probably hit a monsoon, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's road for a loss. This Kevin Akins didn't want to miss that Cincinnati Louisville game last night. The battle for the cake of nails. That's why we had to bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these receivers that they've, even with the suspensions, they're still finding a way to get people to football. And, and, and the job here, here in these first few plays, three plays, they're coming out throwing the football. And now they face a, a third down. We'll see if they're able to either try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup or see if they turn the quarterback loose to run for it. Now, Ponder was only one of five with that null offense in the first half. And now he is two of six, and Anton Smith to the 34-yard line. And the Knowles threatening here on the opening series of the second half. That's a 22-yard gain on third down. Frank Spaziani reiterating this week the importance of tackling in the open field. Aikens right there to make a play short of the first down. He misses the tackle. Give credit to Smith because it's a pretty tough guy to tackle in the open field. And when he's Florida, when this Florida State offense, they can get the ball in space. Tough to bring him down. Ponder keep it all the way. Could not get the corner against McLaughlin. McLaughlin has played a fine football game here tonight, number 34. These linebackers are pretty. They are physical, blue-collar group. And we talked with Coach Spaziani about him. He said, blue-collar, tough, Boston College type of guys. Every one of them. Then you get to Herzlick, and he says, total package, 94, can do it all. Everything you would want in a linebacker. But the other two, 35 and 34, they have been all over the field. And throw on second and nine. Incomplete. There was Herzlick, number 94. 6'4, about 240 pounds. Big, fast, strong, smart. Look at five interceptions and five yeah, forced fumbles. Huh? The thing is, he loves to prepare. He loves the game. When you see five, five forced fumbles, five interceptions, he brings the, the instincts to the game that all the great linebackers always seem to have. Third and nine. The Eagles showed pressure. Incomplete. Terrific coverage that time. That was Davis. Number 45 really anticipated, and Ponder may have taken a little bit too much time. Exactly. Ponder here waits. It's a blitz, and he's thinking, Sider, just throw it now, 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 now. He's late, and that gives the defensive back, Davis, plenty of time to come over. You see, he's, he's thinking about it, just indecisive there. And that, again, Davis comes over, and that's something you see from these young quarterbacks all over the country. So here comes a 50-yarder. <laughs> Don't want to say anything, but he's he's had some success this year. From 50 plus. Gnomatic. That's what we'll call him. Missed it. 
The streak is over. What's well, five in a row from 50 or longer? Plenty of distance. 18 consecutive after missing the first one of the season. Now watch Coach Jags on the BC sideline. Give a body English. <laughs> You're watching ESPN Saturday Night Football on ABC. All right, your fare is going to be $69. Wow, it's not bad. That's it? Yeah. Oh, and give me $25 ah. for a bag fee, $15 for a booking fee. Why don't you just give me your whole lot? Give me the whole thing. Give it to me now. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Is there a problem? Yeah, but that's more than you said it would be. Hidden fees are the other side of some low fares. But on Southwest Airlines, what you see is what you pay. Low fares, no hidden fees. You girls have fun. It's time to unleash your inner Santa. Head to Santa's Other Workshop, The Home Depot. The one place with everything you need to make your home festive, inside and out. All at guaranteed low prices, now even lower. Bring the holidays home for less at The Home Depot. America's biggest automobile company and its dealers want to help get you the loan you need. It's General Motors financing that fits. Offering access to millions of dollars and hundreds of lenders to help get you behind the wheel. It's our way of putting you and America in the driver's seat. During the Red Tag event, the price on the tag is the price you pay. Get a GA for $24,737 for a total value of $2,858. See your local Buick Pontiac GMC dealer. This Tuesday, Ben Stiller, Jack Black, and Robert Downey Jr. star in the most outrageous comedy of the year. I'm leaving you people. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? Tropic Thunder. Get what you couldn't see in theaters on DVD Tuesday. Red <laughs> When you want to get away. Both. Enterprise will pick you up and get you going to romantic weekends. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Sunday, the tale begins with neighborhood gossip. Are you really pregnant? And ends in murder. Fire! It's the biggest episode of this season. ABC's Desperate Housewives. All new Sunday, 9, 8 central on ABC. This ESPN production available on ABC HD. And Life on Mars is on Thursday at 10 9 Central after an all new Grey's Anatomy on ABC. Detective Sam Tyler is stuck in 1973. This Thursday he'll get a step closer to finding out why. So that's the all new Thursday night hit Life on Mars. Renegade and Osceola with life here in Tallahassee. On a Saturday night in the. Uh, Seminoles struggling a little bit here with the BC Eagles. Chris Crane, first year as the starter. Montel Harris, number 41, is off to his right, picking his way. It looked like there might have been more daylight over to the left, but uh, let's check him on Matt Weiner in New York, Matt. Friends, Sports Center right now is powered by Vizio, and we have some good news from the game many of you watched this afternoon on ABC. Wisconsin coach Fred Bielma says the first medical tests on receiver Kyle Jefferson are, quote, very encouraging. Jefferson was knocked unconscious and taken off the field by ambulance. But it will speak and move his feet following Wisconsin's win over Minnesota this afternoon. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was some hit. And uh, let's hope that the uh, news continues to be as optimistic. Second down and eight. First down, a nice throw that time to Brandon Robinson. Florida State trying to get the pressure on Crane. Crane has been unflappable for the most part. Robinson gets to the inside of Tony Carter and then fights. Just will not be pulled down and picks up another seven or eight yards. Look at the accuracy this time in front of Robinson. He never touches the ground, never gives up, and McClure's finally able to bring him down. But it's a 20 yard gain. First down and 10 and uh, the previous play that's going to be reviewed. Is under see review. if he's down on the ground. It looked like he was on top of the defender. Herbie, yeah. When you called it off that replay and I was watching it it did seem like he did not hit the ground and of course the replay official upstairs wants to make sure. So let's see. Did he touch the ground or did he stay on top of the defender. 
Never touches Toby, the I think you called it right. I, he gets I his hand down, left knee, never touches. Then Great the reaction by him Absolutely. as he came up out of there. Boy, McClure is fortunate. He didn't give up on that play, and Robinson yeah. goes to the end zone. You bet. Well, while well, replay looks at this, uh, and they're seeing the same views that you are. Of course, every play is reviewed here in the uh, the college game, unlike the NFL, where you have to use the challenge system. And uh, I guess you can debate which one of them you like uh, better than the uh, than the other one. How about you, Herbie? Which one do you like? Which system do you like? The one in the NFL where you challenge, or this one where everything is looked at? I like everything looked at. You know, I, 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 on, on one hand, I like to control. You know, when you watch those games on Sunday and you. See those head coaches right. with the red hanky, and they got a chance to. Did you, to throw did you it see out Jimmy there. Johnson on the sideline the other night with the with the Canes on the yeah, Thursday night game? Yeah, it did. Looked like he wanted to After throw a review, challenge. <laughs> he did. The play on the field is confirmed. The player was not down. Boston College ball. Chris Crane continues to be impressive, Brent, with his his accuracy. Yes. I mean, this is an offense that in the last two weeks. They've really changed their style because of his inability to avoid mistakes. He now, and I don't want to jinx him, he now has 10 straight quarters without an interception. He's been making great decisions. And uh, from up here we get word that Myron Roll is being looked at on the sideline. The, uh, the outstanding safety for the Knowles. Meanwhile, the front blows up that running play. And it'll be second down and long. And uh, looks like Roll is trotting back out. So number three has returned to the secondary. And there he is. There's, there's a young man, folks. He's a lot trophy semifinalist. So you know he's a good football player. But listen to this. He's a Rhodes Scholar finalist. Pre-med student. And it's just a, it's a wonderful academic story. Second down and 11. Pump fake and incomplete, and there's a flag. Call interference again here on Patrick Robinson. We saw it earlier in the game. He gave a shove to a receiver on about the second or third play of the game. And this is a little slant and go by Brandon Robinson. And I think it confused the defensive back Patrick Robinson enough that he had to adjust by just shoving Brandon Robinson. Ball was in the air while he shoved him, and that's what the officials are talking about. Second time, number 21 for the Knowles. Watch him go to the inside, a little pump and go, double move. Then they lock up. I, it, 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 if anything, it looked like both guys just kind of collided. It didn't look like Patrick Robinson, the defensive back, did anything to get into the way and actually shove the receiver. He was just holding his ground. And the Eagles have moved to the Knowles 32. End the round. Going to throw off it. Incomplete. And it'll be second down and 10. And... Uh, Let's go down to Lisa for more on Myron Roll. Lisa? Well, uh, Brent, as you know, he will find out next week if he actually will be a Rhodes Scholar. He leaves for Birmingham, Alabama on Friday. His interview is on Saturday from 8.30 to 2. And he said at 5 o'clock there will be an announcement. So by the time he leaves, he'll know if he got it. There's also a game that night. Luckily, it's a night game. FSU has provided a plane to fly him from Birmingham to College Park so he can make the second half. Brent? Yeah, let's hope he owns that road scholarship. That'd be a wonderful story. Second down and 10 now for Crane. A little low. So it'll be third down. Gannell was the in intended target. Steve Logan, the offensive coordinator from Boston College, telling us this week that after the North Carolina game, they simplified the attack from being more wide open to what they used to do with Matt Ryan to simplifying the reads. And all of a sudden, instead of the full field, half the field. But the way Chris Crane has played tonight, I think we're starting to see this offense willing to change some things and take some chances. Here comes a blitz. They're going to run against it. Harris. 
got past the first wave before Nicholson was able to get back and make the stop of Harris. Brent, you'll love this because Tom, Thomas Claiborne, the right guard, 78, look at the push that he gets to create that scene because when there's seven defensive players coming up shooting gaps, you need a block like that from Claiborne to give him a shot. Now because they've had problems with the field goal unit, they're going to line up here and go for it on fourth and two. With the nose offside, I see a penalty flag. Doesn't matter as Harris crashed across for the first down. Far side line judge threw the flag, and I thought the Knowles might have jumped. I think they were. They were trying to guess the snap count to try to penetrate that big Boston College offensive line. But you, as you said, it's not going to matter. They're offsides, and Harris picks up a first. They decline it. Gain more than uh, the five. They look, Sherry's looking over there for the signal. Offside, defense. The penalty is declined. First down. The, the, end, the right here, linebacker Verdell coming right across the line. But how about the offensive line? Cannot say enough about the job they have done against this athletic Florida State defense. Costanzo, Ramsey, Tennant, Claiborne, and Lapham get down. He's going to take off. Not when he stopped, he was changing his mind as he crosses the 15 and Verdell making the sound. Love to see that from the big fella deciding to tuck it and go right away and giving himself a chance to, instead of just throwing it away, pick up five or six yards. This crane right now playing with a lot of confidence, something that I think has been lacking in the last three or four weeks. So pressure again, keeping it on the ground, and this time not as successful, although Harris with a fine job and a second effort. I thought he was stopped back there, and uh, he just said, uh-uh, the young man from Jacksonville, a freshman, picked up a couple more. Dakota Watson, the linebacker, does a good job of penetrating right there. He has him, but how about the young freshman not giving up, and then finally, Bud Thacker pulls him down short of the first down. Maybe should have gone for the football, should have gone for the man. Amen. Third down and one. They keep Harrison behind Crane. 87 is Anderson at tight end. We'll shift over to the right. And Crane goes right straight ahead. <laughs> This is a huge series for both these teams. Boston College, the last few weeks in the red zone, it's not been pretty. Not only missing the field goals, but only two touchdowns in eight opportunities down inside their opponent's 20-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. From the seven, first and goal. Here's Harris, steps back to the right, still going, still going to the one-yard line. What a tough hombre. Wow. Brent, you talked about tackling the football. They better get around his legs. Montel Harris is a true freshman, showing how physical. There's, My there's Myron Roll stepping in there. The linebackers have a chance. He never gives up on this play. And between the offensive line doing their job, wrap up, Myron Roll. They have used Crane from this distance twice tonight for first downs. Second down and goal. He's back though in the gun this time. And they're going to let Harris carry it, and the Knowles were ready for that. From the shotgun, the handoff to the running back, sometimes a little bit delayed, and that'll allow that defensive front to penetrate. Verdell and Moffitt did just that. Defensive end from the outside. Moffitt coming all the way around to bring him down, and that's how you do it. You get around his legs and his ankles and slow him down. This back does not stop moving his feet. Third and goal.
Got him open, tight end, and he threw too far outside. Lars Anderson broke to the right, was open briefly, and the pass was too far outside. Well, they've been running the football and running the football. Anderson comes in motion as an H-back, and then he'll just continue out off of the play action here. The play action freezes the Florida State defense. They think the back is going to have it again. Harris, Anderson wide open, and Crane unable to make the throw. Open Abishas for a 19-yard field goal. Billy Flutie is the holder. Nailed it. Huge for the young man's confidence. <laughs> Sid Vicious, as he's known, picks up the three, had a chance for seven, couldn't convert. We've got a timeout. The most versatile Hummer ever. Pacific Life has been the power behind successful individuals for more than 140 years. Pacific Life's strength includes assets exceeding $100 billion. Ask your financial professional about how Pacific Life can help you reach your retirement goals. Pacific Life, the power to help you succeed. Scientific tests show that when one drinks Dr. Pepper slowly, one can truly relish the 23 flavors. Would that we could savor all our relationships, much as the conductor savors his corral nocturna, slowly. Comments, caller? Only one, Fraser. You never savored me slowly. Well, Lilith, I guess I finally found the right icy doctor. Fraser, I don't... Slower is better. Trust me. I'm a doctor. I was pretty nervous, uh, apprehensive. Uh... It was tough to tell him I was joining the Army at first. I uh, did research on my own, tried to get an idea about what the Army was going to be like. It's given me a whole bunch of confidence. But now I'm, I'm very proud of him. He's just a stronger, more driven individual. He can outrun me. <laughs> if your son or daughter wants to talk about joining the Army, listen. You made them strong. We'll make them Army strong. Find out more at GoArmy.com. Saturday Night Football on ABC. Brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees. The all-new 2009 H3T pickup. The most versatile Hummer ever. Verizon Wireless. And MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Well, that 1999 team will need a national championship. Bobby Bowden's second. Chris Winkie was his quarterback. Also won the Heisman Trophy. They beat Virginia Tech in the Superdome in New Orleans. Michael Vick played a sensational game and a losing effort for uh, the Hokies that night. He almost single-handedly brought them back. Yes, he did. In the second half. Down by seven. Quigley's a kickoff man. He's keeping it away from Garvin. They'll get penalized as this one's out of bounds. Well, again, we're going to remind you tomorrow. Jimmy Johnson, back to back to back. Cale Yarbrough was the last to do it on the NASCAR circuit. The final race, the chase from Homestead. And Carl Edwards is the chaser. The only one left. But all Jimmy has to do is finish 36th or better tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern on ABC. Well, that takes me back to 76, 77, and 78 with Yarborough. That's Getting it, man. it done. Yes, sir. <laughs> you were just a youngin' back in. <laughs> yeah. I never even heard of Yarborough. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd fess oh, up. Oh, there are no ears. I, mean, I knew you were going to fess up. <laughs> so, here we go now. There we go. Knowles are down seven. You got 518. Left in the third. 
Play fake on first down by Ponden. He drops it off and a little bit high on the pass and let us go to New York for an update. All right, Brent, our nominee for the AT&T ESPN All-America Player of the Week is Florida Gator Lightning Bolt Percy Harvin. 167 yards rushing and a couple of touchdowns on just eight carries, including an 80-yarder. Cast your vote. Text the word vote to 51234 on your AT&T wireless telephone. And uh, meanwhile, we've got a, uh, a penalty, and that is against B.C. It was a late flag mm -hmm. that came down, and that's the seventh penalty of the Passing night first. against the Eagles. Defense, number 94. That's a spot foul, first down. Herzlick, the linebacker. Our superstar linebacker making a mistake here to give Florida State a break. Love the. That's just now, taking advantage a, of the eye black. Didn't you do a piece on the eye black? <laughs> that's now, old school eye black, huh? though. He's dressed up like the Lone Ranger for crying out loud. <laughs> Where's Tonto? First down and ten. He's on a horse over here in the end zone. Throw high. Grab first down for the Knolls. Parker with another reception. Becoming their go-to receiver here. Soft corner. Good job by Ponder getting the ball to the outside to the playmaker. I keep talking about this guy's ability. Preston Parker. He has a chance to make a catch with a soft corner. He'll make that he'll make one guy miss and he'll go down the sidelines for a touchdown. He has that kind of speed and quickness. Down seven and attempting to mount the tying drive. Play fake bring that in the round. BC yeah, you can't do not that fool as Herzlick. Comes up and makes a stop on Rod Owens. You just can't do that against the Frank Spaziani defense because of the discipline. Herzlick on the backside is just waiting there saying, come on. He just he didn't even flinch, didn't even think about chasing the ball to the opposite way. Just waited for the, the receiver to come around. And how would you like to look at that face as a little receiver, knowing he's just waiting for you? <laughs> Second and 13. Show pressure. Throw away from it. Parker. Preston Parker again, the junior from Delray Beach. Near the end of the game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team, and Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Came into this game wondering who would win the battle between the size and the strength of ba Raji and Brace in the interior for Boston College against the more agile and athletic Rick Trickett offensive line. And tonight, so far, BC has handled the line of scrimmage because of the big boys up front. Forced out of the pocket. On the move, and it's grabbed. First down. They're conferring. Now it's incomplete. Now it's waved off by the field judge. The two officials conferring down here on the side as to whether or not he was in bounds. It was Greg Carr working the sideline. From, from watching from up here, I didn't think he had it because he came down with his foot out of bounds. No yeah, question. He, nice job by the officials because his momentum takes him up into the air and by the time he comes down he's out of bounds it's a great job of getting together and getting the call right don't need instant replay in this case but how about the push up front again by Raji and Brace now the Knowles Just are going to use a timeout here hmm. now In a fourth down in this situation with 303 left in the third, wouldn't you just kick the field goal? It's only a 50 yarder for our guy. Yeah, no problem. Chip shot. <laughs> <laughs> Extra hotel night in New England. You're going down, Manning. That's right, I am. Free. Four floor. Get a massage today. I'm excited. Extra night in Cleveland. Don't choke on it. Free. Good call. I'll just cut it up and put it into a fruit salad or something. Thanks. Extra night in San Diego. Morning. Take a hike. Free. You know, I'm going to do that. Getting world-class rewards no matter who you are. Whether you're sweet. Priceless. Nice. Get a World MasterCard and get free hotel stays and more. Send a personalized sweet talk from Peyton at Priceless.com.
Would it be wrong to guzzle nacho cheese? Absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah, get in there. Let Allstate save you money on car insurance. How you spend it is up to you. Are you in good hands? Move over, Eggnog. We're working this holiday party. Refreshing Sierra Mist Cranberry Splash is back. Available in regular and dyed for a limited time. So start a new holiday tradition now. We only got one room left, but I doubt you'll want it. Why not? It's a dead zone. Can't get your calls, your precious emails. It's like you don't even exist. I've got the Verizon network. You're good. Oh. The towers are kind of scratchy. We test America's largest 3G network every day. Verizon Wireless. Get the exclusive LG Dare. Full touchscreen, 3G speed, loaded with features. What if you hit a car? Because another car hit you. Are you covered? Don't hope so. No so. Call an Allstate agent today for a free Good Hands coverage checkup. Are you in good hands? The sweetest lineup ever, the 2008 American Music Awards, live Sunday, November 23rd on ABC. The timeout, the Seminoles decided to attempt the field goal, and Graham Gano has a 51 yard. Now, wait a minute, there's They're a confusion. Again. They had the field goal lined up. Now, they, the last second, yelled for the unit to come off. And now they sent the offense out real fast, trying to catch Boston College off guard. Now let's see if Spaziani's got his personnel out there. Here we go now, fourth down and five. Ponder in trouble sideline. He's short of the first down, even if it was caught. That was Preston Parker working the sideline, but they didn't get enough. Well, how, to get the receiver beyond that first down marker in this play. How about Herzlick chasing from behind? Look at the speed chasing Ponder down. And a great job here by Boston College realizing that something might be up and not just getting the defense back on the field, Brent, but having a, an actual scheme designed where they brought pressure. Look who made the stop. McLaughlin's over there on the stop. Herzlick's on the press. They're so everyone. you've got both those linebackers who played so well tonight yep. right in the thick of that fourth down play. That is a huge, huge play. Big stop. Now Chris Crane and the Eagles. Josh Hayden back in as his running back. Throwing for a loss. He's the freshman from Maryland. So they have two freshman running backs. So not only did they lose Matt Ryan from last year's team but they lost their veteran running backs and when they recruited Montel Harris who was headed to Duke they said if you come to us yeah, man you play immediately <laughs> and so we decided to go up uh, to Boston the only back they had in spring football I, this is the point in the game where the old school Florida State defense would make a play we're going to find out a lot about both these teams they both want to get to an ACC championship something's going to happen good for either the Boston College offense and an old defense on this series. Complete spinning out is Jarvis. Third and workable for the Eagles. Well, Chris Crane continues to put the football right where he has to. Patrick Robinson is down. Well, reminder coming up on uh, Monday night, the Browns and the Bills at 8.30 p.m. The last commercial, my friend Kirk said the Browns are dead. They're done. Huh? I'm a Bengals fan. And Come on, Bengals Brady, the, Quinn, you got to show some true. real excitement That's true. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. <laughs> a Brady Quinn guy. They're not done. Meanwhile, the Bills badly need a win. They two or three losses in a row now and uh, well, there's this a is a team under Dick Duran that started out very very well and was making a push for the playoffs and now suddenly they've hit the wall so Monday night home team kind of like the Bills don't you yeah. huh? a little I, bit. I, you brought up Brady Quinn and you're right 
last yeah. time out, he played well enough he to play win. Mm -hmm. uh, they just couldn't get it done late in that football game. It'll be interesting to see where they are with the mindset. But hey, you know the NFL. You say Monday night at home. Home. Bill's tough to beat. That'll be a tough crowd in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rely on you for that. <laughs> Here we go now. Third down and two for the Eagles. Here's Hayden running back. First down. He's got it. Very good run after the catch, breaking free to the six yard line. It looked for a moment like he was just going to step out of bounds. And that's a 57 yard gain here. Well, man to man coverage. A little pick here by Brandon Robinson. He takes the linebacker Watson out of it. And how about the effort by Hayden to not only get to the outside, he turns the corner. He thinks he's going to get knocked out of bounds or tackled. Great block by Gannell. And then he goes down and almost takes it into the end zone. But Brandon Robinson, number two, picked Dakota Watson to open up Hayden to the outside. And then Gannell. Oh, he lit him up, didn't he? First down and goal. Play fake. Here comes Crane rolling right. It'll be second down and goal. Remember the last time they were down there, they couldn't score a touchdown. Settle for a field goal. Brandon Robinson right there. You could just see it. Now watch this block. Watson, and Gannell comes in and takes Carter. Hello. Out. What a block. Poor angle taken there by the other Robinson, Jamie Robinson, the safety. And how about the true freshman? I bet his eyes were as big as saucers. He turns the corner and he almost takes it all the way to the end zone. Harris is in on this second and goal. Comes pressure. Incomplete. And now it is third down and goal. Robinson, the intended target. Here's the, the play that Graham Harrell is and Michael Crabtree runs so well. Back shoulder fade. Timing, good coverage that time. Pretty physical by Patrick Robinson. Can you watch Graham Harrell throw that with Michael Crabtree? These guys look like a Texas Tech. They could do it in their sleep. But that time, Patrick Robinson locked him up. Penalty, fresh set of downs. Carter, a little too aggressive apparently. He was on the back of Brandon Robinson, who beat him earlier to the inside on a slant. Chris Crane, very wise, looking for number two, especially on the money downs on third down. Third time we've seen Florida State call for pass, pass interference. Gives him the inside. This boy, he's all over him. He's holding his jersey even before he jumped on his back. Pretty easy to call that. Yeah. Old-fashioned mugger. First down and goal now for BC. Crane rolls to the right, looking back to the middle. High grab. Incomplete. Lars Anderson and Robinson, the defender, doing a fine job in the back of the end zone. Well, he's got two receivers open in the back side. He knows that Anderson's going to be there, puts the ball, puts a little air under it, and by doing that, it gave Robinson enough time to come over. Watch this. He puts a little bit of air under it, throws it late, and J.B. Robinson gets a hand in there. Very fortunate to knock that football away. Good play by Jamie Robinson, number 20. Terrific goal line defense by the Knowles, and now a timeout has been called. Coach Jags uh, certainly wants to talk about it. Upstairs, Logan, of course, uh, sending down a play. And uh, here's a reminder that uh, on Sunday, November 23rd, that's a week from tomorrow, you've never seen an American Music Awards lineup bigger than this. Alicia Keys is coming back, and uh, Jimmy Kimmel will host that. And, uh, Congratulations to uh, Kenny Chesney Absolutely. on another uh, country music uh, award entertainer of the year. On Fourth Wednesday in a row. Night. Third in a row. Third? Is it third? Fourth in a row. Fourth overall.
Fourth overall, third in a row. I'm already counting next year's Absolutely. fourth in a row. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> He's probably down the islands on his boat tonight. <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> Getting Second some well-deserved rest. Yeah. That was a good show. A lot of folks watched it. Kid Rock was good in that Tennessee Titans jersey. Second down and goal. Been a struggle down inside the five yard line here for BC. We're going to run Harris. Can he get a corner? Can he get an edge? Touchdown, BC. Very strong freshman running back from Jacksonville, Florida. 5'10, 192. If you're a Boston College fan, you've got a great future of backs. We already seen his feet, but now he wants to throw in a stiff arm. I mean, Robinson's right there to make the play for a loss, and he gives him a little stiff arm, a little, <laughs> walks to the corner. A little Walter Payton. <laughs> He's back. Remember Walter? Yeah, but well, he's taking to you now. Yeah. Montel Harris. So here's the key now. Wow. Remember, Boston College stopped the Knowles on fourth and five. Yep. Remember that? Yep. And then they drove back 71 yards for that touchdown. Open Obishus. So a stunner unfolding here in Tallahassee, huh? Boston College, if they win out, they would go to the ACC championship game. Wow. Jamie Robinson couldn't have a better angle, a better opportunity, but he comes in high. Look how high he is. On a good back, you cannot tackle him high. Montel Harris has shown time after time tonight that unless you come in low, as small as he is, and I say small just because he's it's about 5'10", 5'11". So there we are. There's the story. Florida State and Maryland at 4-2. and two. Maryland beating North Carolina in dramatic fashion today. If they went out, they too would capture it. But this uh, knocks the Knolls down as B.C. would go to 500. Of course, they finish up the season with Maryland. So three straight wins now for the Eagles and they'll capture long way the Atlantic. So three teams in control of their destiny and the Knolls are about to lose theirs. You're going to have to put it in overdrive here. It's all uphill now. Kirk 24 10. Approaching the uh, the fourth quarter. And you go back to the suspension of the five receivers no matter how the coaches and the players played it after it happened it was a distraction the brawl was on Wednesday and these are youngsters they talk about it there's friends there's teammates there's controversy it can never help when things like that breaking free to the 45 yard line on the uh, short kickoff they're not giving Garvin a chance here tonight but this is pretty good field position so Bradham returned that kickoff and uh, now we'll see what they can do. Well, the, the problem for Florida State is they're a, an offense that has a lot of playmakers and big play potential, but the defense that they're facing because they play so much zone, it's more about being disciplined and being patient. It's tough to get big plays against this style of defense. Gonna have to look for some. Been a little bit high mm -hmm. with his delivery tonight. I think a lot of that has to do with the confusion that he is he's faced tonight because Boston College Frank Spaziani is a veteran defensive coordinator giving Ponder a ton of looks and I think that's confusing <laughs> and one look he doesn't like is Raji closing in on him. <laughs> right. Okay, that helps either of those defensive tackles. This is as good a push as we've seen in the middle of a defensive line this year. You and know it's that? great to see them playing together. A lot of times you've either seen Raji without Brace or Brace without Raji this year. They're both healthy. They hold their ground, don't they? Between them in the middle and the linebackers and mm. the way they'll come after you. This is a, you know, you see why Notre Dame had so much trouble with this defense. Mm -hmm. Now they are, folks. They're the twins. You just go ask it. An NFL uh, scout or, or general manager, what do you think some big time defensive tackles right now in the, in, the, in the game? They're at a premium. Well, not only do they have the size and the strength, but it's the quickness that they bring to the table for their size. Big 300 pounders that can move like that. And 
it's a young Knowles offensive line. Remember, three freshmen, two sophomores, they're just battering away. High, incomplete. Receiver paid a price on that. And that was Gauss. Ball is not only high, but late. And it was a long throw. Gauss came over and lit, you know, they, lit up the receiver. Knowles are going to have to play a lot better on the 29th against the Gators, so they're going to be in deep trouble against that speed. Yeah, I don't think anybody really wants a piece of the old Gators these days. Ooh, they're rolling. He takes off on fourth down. Gano running for it. Got it. Kept him alive. Graham Gano. Hello. Fourth down and nine. That's one of those when you take off, you better get it. Well, Jags had the onside kick early in this game. So Bobby Bowden says, hey, it's desperation time. He called him the MVP of this team earlier tonight. If he didn't come up short, he might as well have gone to the other side of the <laughs> 24 yards. Time out. During the Hummer Red Tag event, when you see some red, you save some green on all 2008 and 2009 Hummer models. Like the all-new H3T, the nimble, tough, mid-size pickup with full-size capability, or the rugged mid-size H3 with lower annual fuel costs than many SUVs. During the first ever Hummer Red Tag event, the price on the tag is the price you pay for incredible values like this. Visit your local Hummer dealer. Red or black? When you want to get away. Both. Enterprise will pick you up and get you going to romantic weekends. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. All the critics agree about role models. Do you know it? No. All right. Role models is killer funny. I'll drink to that. It's a smart, hilarious comedy. Parents don't want you hanging around with their kids for some reason. I'll hit you. I will hit a child. Role models. Rated R. Now playing. You're under arrest for kidnapping. Thursday, Detective Sam Tyler will reunite with his family. Are you saying that kidnapper is your father? That's exactly what I'm saying. Getting one step closer to why he's stuck in 1973. Maybe this is the reason why I'm here. If you haven't seen ABC's new hit show, Life on Mars, this is a great time to start. ABC's Life on Mars, all new Thursday, 10, 9 central, after a new Grey's Anatomy on ABC. If you've got 99 cents, then you've got a great sandwich. Arby's regular roast beef sandwich is now only 99 cents. Savor the flavor of slow roasted beef piled high on a sesame seed bun and watch the savings pile up. But hurry, deals like this don't last. It's time to say, I'm thinking Arby's. The year-end sell-a-thon is on, and the clock is ticking. We're closing out 2008 by giving you some amazing deals. Now, through the end of the year, you can get up to $7,500 in combined cash allowance on 2008 models. Plus, get a no-extra-charge DVD on select Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles. And we have hundreds of financing options available, so we're making it easier to get the new vehicle you want. The Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge year-end sell-a-thon is on at your local dealer. So hurry in before 2008 is over. Broken ambulances exposed Sunday night on News Channel 5 at 11. If you've got 99 cents, then you've got a great sandwich. Arby's regular roast beef sandwich is now only 99 cents. Savor the flavor of slow roasted beef piled high on a sesame seed bun and watch the savings pile up. But hurry, deals like this don't last. It's time to say, I'm thinking Arby's. We welcome you back to Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines. Graham Gano, he has an audible read, Lisa Salter just told us from down below. Coaches told her that if he sees something getting pressed on the outside, he can take off. The young man born in Scotland, went to high school in Pensacola, Florida, 24 yards on this fake punt. He's been down there describing it to everybody. <laughs> what a huge play. That's the leading rusher. He just took over. Now we start the fourth quarter. Speed around, and they're going to throw off it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown after the fake punt. Greg Carr pulls it in as Preston Parker delivers a left-handed bullet.
And the heroes back on the field for the extra point. Tax it on. Let's go back now. It was a beautiful left-handed throw. Well, Parker's left-handed. He's rolling to his left. I don't know about the decision to put this up there. Now, Greg Carr is a tall receiver, and Anderson at safety loses the ball, and Carr's able to adjust, see the ball, and come back. We just talked about how tough it is to make plays against Boston College, and once in a while, you got to throw it up and hope one of your playmakers comes down with it. And Greg Carr, it's 6-6, is able to adjust to that football. Anderson runs right by him. And once he adjusted, it was an easy catch. But boy, when he threw it, I'm looking at Anderson right there thinking, oh, no. That was wobbling a little bit like a Billy <laughs> Kilmer special. You know, that little duck on You know how many times they probably run that in practice? And he probably begging Jimbo Fisher to call that during the game. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. Whatever gets it done. And back in the game as a result of the fake punt. Now Spaziani trying to settle the defense down over there, saying you're playing fine, oh, yeah. shake it off. We got a seven-point lead. Just stay right with what we're doing. Yeah, he's saying we're okay. They're playing great. No question. But Greg Carr made a play. Just when it looked like Florida State was down and out, the fake punt, and then the next play, the big touchdown. Now we get a seven-point game. Parker's first ever career touchdown pass. Now we'll see how the Eagles respond. Here's Harris who returned the opening. He gets lit up this time at the 28 yard line. And as we take a look at our Pacific Life game summary of this key ACC game, here's Chris Crane passing for 158 yards and one touchdown for the Eagles who struck early. Christian Ponder has thrown a couple of picks. One, a pick six. And he got one back as he ran into the end zone. And then it was Harris with the stiff arm. And just a few moments ago, the Parker touchdown pass, Kirk. First time the entire night that the stadium has come alive. There's Harris. They're starting to punish a little bit more. That was Robinson. They tried to light him up on the kickoff. I'm sure that Mickey Andrews has talked to his defensive players, and you can see the blows starting to be delivered now by the Knowles. They better. The way Montel Harris has been able to run the football tonight, and how physical at times he has run the football. Going to pick his way for it. A different attitude by the Knowles after that touchdown. Far more aggressive than that front. Getting a jump on that offensive line here on this series. So often it's one play that can spark the entire team, especially when you're at home. Now, third downs have been Florida State's specialty coming into tonight. But Boston College has converted 8 of 13. And let's see what happens here. This is the biggest third down of the night. You got to throw for it. Incomplete. Fourth down. They got him on they interference got again. The interference. Yep. Roosevelt Lawson. He's guilty of it. It's the fourth one. Fourth pass interference that Florida State has. Pass in the first. Confess number 23. It's a spot foul. First down. The crowd's going to boo, obviously, Brent. But to me, this is a good call. Gannell inside move. Lawson with the hand and then with the over the back. It's an interference. Safety, Roosevelt Lawson from Miami up against Rich Cannell, arguably the best receiver for Boston College on the slot, inside move, unable to make the play. Crane off the fake, 
complete. Working the sideline with Gunnell. A pretty throw that time by Crane to Gunnell. And uh, Gunnell here tonight certainly has been his go to guy. That's 23 more yards. How about the timing here? Crane looks like he wants to get at to the outside. Dakota Watson came on the blitz. He pulls up and throws an absolute bullet to Gunnell right on the money. And just like that, not only do they get the conversion, but now they're deep into Florida State territory. Five catches for Gunnell tonight, 37 yards, and that opening drive touchdown. There's a handoff, and Harris picks his way beautifully for a first down, plus a fine run by Harris. Good job up front by this offensive line, getting a push. But there's our man with the vision, and the toughness. These safeties are really struggling to take down Mon, take down Montel Harris and Jack, Pick, Jack, Jack Picknell Jr., the offensive line coach. What a job that he has done with this group this year. It's a veteran group, and I think they're better this year than they were last year with Matt Ryan. His father, of course, was the head coach during the Doug Flutie era. Intercepted on a ricochet. Knowles have got it. Darius McClure pulled it in. Florida State brought the blitz, and Todrick Verdell, 31, as a linebacker, comes in and knocks the football into the air. Off just to the right, middle linebacker coming, gets his hand up, and now once the ball goes up, the defense, the awareness of the defense there, and they're able to pick up a huge, huge turnover. Look at the size of Verdell at 6'3", going up in the air to knock that ball up. And then finally, McClure brings it in. It looks like he almost looked like he wasn't able to secure it, Brent. Oh. Hey, he grabbed it. Uh, Second time. Bouncing away. Yeah. That was Nigel Bradham who I think may have oh, okay. deflected it. He's the freshman. And now let's see if uh, there was a celebration injury here. Take a look at this. Indeed he did. He sustained the injury right there. Being helped over to the uh, sideline. Played the whole game trying to tackle Montel Harris, and he celebrates and off to the sideline. Bradham is a, a freshman from Crawfordsville, Florida. He's 6'2. And uh, the Knowles use Thomas now. They reinsert the freshman back into the lineup. They have been using Anton Smith here for much of the second half and brace limps off the sideline and that is not a good sign for the Eagles. Nick Rossi number 64 checks into the middle of that defensive line. And now B.J. Raji will probably attract an enormous amount of attention down there number 90. Ponder incomplete. Raji was collapsing the pocket in the middle. There you see Brace being tended to. He's been battling through some injuries. The back injury that he sustained and been able to fight through that. Taking a little breather there. Hopefully he'll be able to come back into this lineup. He and Raji have dominated that interior. Nick Rossi will come in here as a, a big junior to help out Raji in the middle. Ponder's going to keep it all the way. To the 35-yard line. Ponder has always had the ability to make plays with his feet and a willingness. It's a play that's set up. Designed to find a seam to the backside. 
pretty well blocked, but actually it's just his, his quickness to be able to get to that next level to get the first down. Holloway is the fullback as Smith has checked back in as the tailback. Tosses to Smith in a foot race. And he has a strong first down run. And a reminder that uh, late local news will be coming up on uh, most of these ABC stations right after our game. And of course, over on ESPN Sports Center, we'll have a rundown of all the college football action today. 24 17, 11 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Second down. Smith got the first down close to midfield. This Florida State offense tonight has had to do things a bit left handed because they want to rely on running the football, but just they've not been able to. So they've had to go through the air tonight. 212 yards through the air, only 49 yards on the ground. And again, we keep saying it, but it's because of the way Boston College has played up front. And it's a good adjustment here by Bobby Bowden and his staff to try to get the ball thrown to the air to make plays. Raji back in the middle of the defensive front. They forced the pitch. Got the outside. And McClure being helped to the locker room after suffering that leg injury. Celebrating the interception that he came up with on the deflection that set in motion this drive for the Knowles and they have now driven to the BC 40 yard line down by seven play fake by Ponders keeping it looking for the corner got the first down Just we talk about how they've had to throw the football tonight. This drive, Ponder running the football. He wants to throw. He gets to the inside of Giles, who had him contained, but unable to close on him. And Ponder again with his quickness accelerates upfield. Those are at the Eagle 28. Ponder going to put it up. Go in zone. Gambling. Picked away by the Eagles. Intercepted in the end zone. A sensational catch by Gauze. The third pick of the night. As the quarterback, Ponder, threw it up for grabs. This penalty going against the Knowles. Holding. 79 offense. The penalty is declined. First down. This is... A throw that Ponder makes before he even has a chance to read it. He's just going to rely on Carr to go up and make a play, but Gauze holds position and catch. then battles for the football to take it away what, from Greg Carr. What unbelievable catch. One hand reaches up. At Southwest Airlines, we don't charge fees. On the first check bag or the second. At Southwest Airlines, we don't charge fees on window or aisle seats. At Southwest Airlines, we don't charge fees on curbside check-in. And at Southwest Airlines, we don't charge fees on phone reservations. At Southwest Airlines, we don't believe in charging for things that should be free. So book now at Southwest.com. Low fares, no hidden fees. At a time when others don't, Nissan delivers. 0% financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers. A Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month. Or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers.
it's people who do the right thing, they call it being responsible. When it's an insurance company, they call it Liberty Mutual. Responsibility. What's your policy? Liberty Mutual Insurance. Order for takeout? Okay. A large roast beef sub with American cheese. Pickles, lettuce, and tomatoes. No, that's not all. Ham and cheese, no mayo. Getting your order right and right on time shouldn't be a matter of luck. Why don't we just do Chili's to go instead? Thanks for calling Chili's. Trust Chili's to go to get your order right and right on time. We even give you an exact time so you can pick it up at its fresh, hot, and delicious best. It's just what you'd expect from Chili's to go. We have to go back. ABC's Lost, the premiere event, Wednesday, January 21st on ABC. 9.15 left. Gaz with the third interception of the night for this Eagles secondary. They lead the nation in interceptions. That has been the difference in this game tonight. And now Chris Crane will see what the Eagles can do to try to bring that clock down using Harris and uh, Lisa McClure's uh, situation. We saw him injured in that celebration. What do you hear down below? Yeah, Brenton, you saw him very gingerly being escorted off the field back to the locker room. The news isn't good. They say it's his left knee, and they believe it's his ACL. Oh, what a shame as we take a look at Darius McClure over here. Celebrating Boy, with... Uh, like an innocent enough play. Jeez. What a tough way to maybe on it. be out for the year. Mm. Second and seven for the Eagles. Crane keeps it. Beautiful fake to Harris. Slides for the first down. Well, Chris Crane has been handing this football off all night. This time he makes the read right here. This time he decides to pull it out. Good decision, gets to the outside of Marcus White and picks up a first down. I told you he runs about a 4.7240. 40. Pretty good quickness for a guy that's 6'4, 245 pounds. Keeps you honest by holding it too. Keeping it on the ground. Harris again. Coming down to the eight minute mark and Harris with a hundred yard rushing night against this Seminole defense. Well, Seminoles have put almost the entire night eight sometimes nine defenders up close to the line of scrimmage and yet Boston College and that big offensive line they have handled their own. Florida State know the run that know that run uh, they're going to Boston College will run the football but they still cannot stop them. Keeping it again is Crane. Can he get another first down? He slid a little early and he comes up short. And Coach Jack said, please, Keep please going, baby. get to the mark and then slide. You had plenty of daylight. Same play, this time to the right, reading the defensive end who collapses down because of the night that Harris is having. Moffitt steps down. He doesn't have the luxury of seeing the yellow line, but as a quarterback, you have to know where that first down marker is. About another yard or so, and that's a first down. Remember, the yellow line is not official, so they will come out and uh, and measure. Does Coach Jags have one of the best smiles? No, he's not showing the smile right now because he knows he's going to come up a little bit short here. But he has one of the best smiles in all of football. Yeah. Not only that, he's one of those guys you could see it. If you're an 18-year-old, you'd want to play for him. I mean, he is. Agree. A likable guy. He's going to coach you well. He's got a great staff. Matt Ryan doing a pretty good job right now in the NFL. So. Coming out of this offense. Third down and one. The last thing he wants to do is punt the ball back to the Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Never did a coach want a first down any more than this one.
it's a battle. It's a battle for real estate. And that, if wow. that's the mark, it's a, oh. now a penalty flag that will determine this play. Definitely a dead ball foul. Did not get the first down, but what is the penalty? Personal foul, which way is it going to go? Umpires talking to him right now about a, a about a, somebody hitting somebody late. Going against Florida State, it looks like. Dead ball, personal foul, 30, defense. That's a killer. That is a killer, and that's Derek Nicholson, your leader, your middle linebacker. That's a senior from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and he should know a lot better than that. It looks like Nicholson punches down on 65 right at the bottom of the screen, comes down on top of him right there on Tennant. That's, that's clearly where the flag came down. It's after they had made the stop. It's going to be fourth down. So with 649 and counting Crane and the Eagles who have been penalized themselves tonight seven times and now the Knowles pick up the sixth and the sixth could be the killer for Florida State. Harris nothing doing a late handoff. Allowed penetration and uh, Brown made the stop. And let's go to Matt Weiner for an update. Brett, remember when LSU was down 31 3 early in the third? Well, they've done the bulk of the work toward a comeback in that game. Quinn Johnson, a touchdown there. The Tigers then converted an interception into a field goal. 24 unanswered, 31 27 there. And a score Kirk is interested in. Florida AM, the Rattlers beat Hampton today, 45 24. And still All right. about, uh, seven and a half minutes left. The LSU mounting that comeback at home. Keeping it. Stretching away. Crane. And coming up just a little bit short on that run. Boy, he's been a tough runner here. This <laughs> he drive. sure has. He's showing some, some, some quickness for a guy of his size. Boy, it's not pretty. I'll tell you what, he gets upfield in a hurry. Purvis forced the, the tight end, Ryan Purvis, forcing the defensive end outside linebacker, Dakota Watson, to come wide, and it gave Crane a huge lane to run underneath. Now back in the gun. Harris for the first down to the 30 yard line. With Montel Harris. If you weren't familiar with him before you watch this game, you're not going to forget this young back. Josh Hayden, the other true freshman. And Montel Harris carrying the load in recent weeks and doing it again tonight, 106 yards. 20 carries, showing durability. Keeping it on the ground, Harris with a big hole to the left. He battles his way for six more. Let's take a look now at our Dr. Pepper ACC scoreboard. In a conference that is really wide open on Thursday night, of course, Miami coming back. And the big one late today, Maryland with a win. And then North Carolina State shocking Wake 21-17. And Clemson all over Duke. So those are the finals that are in and uh, here it is a touchdown lead for Boston College at 24 17 and what a job they have done milking the clock got a big break on that personal foul against Florida State keeping it again for a first down is Crane as he storms into the red zone now and they continue to bring it down the field and the clock down to nearly three and a half. Brent, 10 plays so far on this drive and they've been this play all the way down the field. You're going to hand it off on the zone read to Harris or if the end collapses down like this, he jumps on Harris's back, Crane keeps it, 
picks up a first down. Let's see if they decide, let's run it again. They can't stop it. Make the read, either hand it off, keep it, get up field. It's working all the way down the field. Over five and a half minutes. Run it again. Here they come, Harris pounding <laughs> away. Battling for an extra yard. First guy just doesn't bring him down. No. And this coaching staff deserves a ton of credit. Steve Logan, the offensive coordinator. This is a great example of adjusting your system to your personnel. Now they've, they've had to do that this year after losing a first round quarterback in Matt Ryan, playing with a quarterback in Chris Crane, who's a fifth year guy in his first year as a starter. They've made the adjustments this year to give them the best chance to win. Did you see a ton of zone read last year from Matt Ryan? Not at all. Certainly nothing like this as Crane spins and there's a uh, penalty flag and helmet helmet coming off too so we'll sort the penalty out here. Offside. Defense. 56. Five yards. Replay second down. Of course as soon as we finish with this game we'll be going to your uh, ABC stations for local news except out on the uh, west coast about a little after 11 15 here in the east those of you of course who uh, want to see some more football highlights and that you go on over to sports center and, uh, and the talk will start because next saturday night come along with us folks uh, you want to be either with friends or at home or in a place where you can watch texas tech oklahoma i, I promise you we're going to have one of the most exciting games of the year in uh, in Norman. Are you taking your luxurious bus right from <laughs> Tallahassee to uh, to Norman? Wouldn't I love to, but I got a basketball game in oh, Purdue first. Okay. Earlier. okay. And here comes Harris battling for that wow. first down. You cannot stop wow. this little man. A star is born. Wow, he's a good back. Look at the look at the leg drive. See, you, Herbie, you know what this means he for a young man. He's not done. Jacksonville oh. coming in here and doing this. Look, I mean, look he's at been this. watching look at the Knolls and the Gators and the Canes oh. all his life. That's a Florida State defense he's been carrying all night wow. for two or three or four extra yards, almost every carry. Isn't it great to see in football what a well coached, Absolutely. organized team can do Time when, when you think they've got Time no out. chance? They play hard every snap. <laughs> Jake is not happy right now for the moment. We'll start it out 127 to go. So let us take a break. At a time when others don't, Nissan delivers. 0% financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers a Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. Funny is knocking at the door and he wants to party. That's insanium in the cranium, dog. <laughs> ah! I'm laughing on the dark, abysmal inside. <laughs> Shake your funny makeup. Shake it. Shake it hard. If they bottled that kind of funny, I'd buy it. Hilarity by Daryl. How would you say LOL? With a full keyboard, it's easier to text it how you'd say it. The Propel and Matrix, only from AT&T. LT is fast. Very fast. Fortunately, the pixels you're watching are fast too. They're refreshing at a rate of 120 hertz twice the speed of most HD TVs. So while he may look like a blur to the guys on defense, every frame on a Vizio is crisp and clear. Introducing the new XVT series. Powerful technology from Vizio. 
Indulge in something extraordinary from Papa John's and be prepared to escape the ordinary with Papa John's new Zesty Italiano Pizza. Loaded with spicy salami, pepperoni, spicy Italian sausage, and covered with four cheeses. Or the Tuscan 6 Cheese Pizza on a crispy thin crust with a rich blend of six Italian cheeses. Just $12.99 each or buy both for just $10.99 each. A huge value. Call or click PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Saturday Night Football on ABC. Brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees. Nissan. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. And Universal Pictures' hilarious new comedy, Role Models, now in theaters. Ah, yes. Winter has come to Florida. <laughs> A little chill in the air tonight. I mean, it's chilly, especially when your team is... Uh, Struggling a little bit, and what a drive this is! Uh, Six-minute drive here with a minute 27 to go, and uh, BC threatening to put it away. Florida State two timeouts left. We've got a first and goal now. And here comes Harris right into the middle, picking up a couple more, and uh, Everett Brown making the stop for the Knowles. So a timeout has been called by the Knowles. Three interceptions. The difference in this football game here in Tallahassee tonight. At a time when others don't, Nissan delivers. Zero percent financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers a Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. There's no greater joy than giving to your kids for their first tooth, first steps, first set of wheels, first day of practice, but only one gift protects a lifetime of firsts. Life insurance from New York Life ensures your loved ones will always be taken care of. With 163 years of financial strength, it's the most selfless gift you can give. New York Life, the company you keep. I like believing in happily ever after. The tale begins with neighborhood gossip. We're the sole heirs of her fortune. A nasty rumor. Why are you trying to crucify me? A forbidden affair. Are you really pregnant? And ends in murder. Fire! Oh, just go. Hey, he's still in here. It's the biggest episode of this season. Fire! It's locked. All new Desperate Housewives, Sunday at 9, 8 central, followed by a new Brothers and Sisters on ABC. The countdown has begun. ABC Monday, there's only one place you should be. It's down to the final four. Lance Fast, Warren Sack, Cody Lindley, Brooke Burke. That is why you are the last woman standing. But only three will survive. And this is their last chance to make it to the finals. Nobody wants to win this competition more than me. Nobody. ABC's Dancing with the Stars live Monday at 8, 7 central on ABC. Well, a reminder that uh, Homestead, the final race, Jimmy Johnson... All right, a three-peat, and coverage begins with NASCAR Countdown at 3 Eastern tomorrow on ABC HD. And here at Boston College, minute 21 left, second down and goal. Basically, Crane and Harris, like Kirk pointed out, they've run the read option right straight down the field. They're not stopping now. But stepping up into that hole is Dakota Watson for the Knowles, and he stops the running back. Florida State using their final timeout. And while they do that, let's take a look at the ESPNU All-State standings review. Both Texas Tech and Oklahoma idle in preparation for their showdown next Saturday night in Norman. Alabama figures to stay number one after beating Mississippi State 32 to 7. Heavy dose of rain and surviving 
I wish the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame against Navy today and NC State upsetting Wake Forest in the ACC play and Florida. I think that's the worst loss that Steve Spurrier has ever experienced. Is that a 50 point difference in that game? And Whatever uh, how about Oregon be. State beating Cal folks? And if they two win out, wins. if two they wins can beat away. Arizona and Oregon at home, they go to the Rose Bowl. They've got the tiebreaker on USC. What a great story. The Beavers of Oregon State. 115. Third down and goal. Fumble. Put it on the ground and reach back for it. The Knowles had a glimmer of hope with 107. Well, this was exactly what Florida State needed. Crane pulls it, and this time Florida State, after seeing it about 15 times, decides that not this time, and Bradham knocks the ball loose. Crane, very fortunate to fight to get back and recover that, or Florida State would have had exactly what they needed. But now look at the clock. And Boston College will probably let it go all the way down to one second, the play clock, until they'll use their last timeout. Yeah, the Knowles being out of out of timeouts. So they they cannot stop them. So next week, eight o'clock Saturday. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm at Oklahoma. Texas Tech and um, it'll, it's, it's hard to believe Kirk when you think of of that showdown of all the quality quarterbacks that we have seen in the uh, in the Big 12 South and the, and the quality wide receivers when you think about those <laughs> it's a very special year out there it's amazing and, and we knew coming in to the season that the Big 12 had a chance to be unique offensively but I don't think anybody imagined if you look at it right now in New York City the Heisman Trophy Tim Tebow is going to be there Graham right. Harrell has a shot to be there Big 12 Sam Bradford has a shot. Colt McCoy has a shot. Michael Crabtree has a shot. Could be Big 12 and Tim Tebow. Florida State's only chance to block field goal and return it for a touchdown. Aponavishis with a 30 yarder. Billy Flutie is the holder. Right down the middle. Game set and match. What a night for the Eagles. So we took our daughter computer shopping. We went everywhere. Can we get some help? What an awful day. Awful. Let's try that again. So we went to Best Buy. We have all the best brands, so we'll find the right one for you. They made it really easy. So we had a lot more free time. What a wonderful day. Wonderful. Compare all the best brands all in one place. Best Buy. You happier. Introducing Taco Bell's new 89 cent volcano taco. With spicy lava sauce, it could be the spiciest taco ever. Can we eat my volcano taco? <laughs> Don't look at me. Why pay more for heat when you can think outside the bun? At a time when others don't, Nissan delivers. 0% financing on many of Nissan's most popular models. Nissan delivers. Attractive lease options on our full line of vehicles. Nissan delivers. A Nissan Altima or Rogue for only $199 a month. Or a brand new Versa for under $10,000. When you need it most, Nissan delivers. All the critics agree about role models. Do you know it? No. All right. Role models is killer funny. I'll drink to that. It's a smart, hilarious comedy. Parents don't want you hanging around with their kids for some reason. I'll hit you. I will hit a child. Role models. Rated R. Now playing. ABC Sunday, 8, 7 Central. It's an extreme home rescue. A dedicated firefighter and devoted father to eight adopted children. He changed the lives of these kids. Will get a makeover that will save his family. And ignite your spirit. This house is a brand new fresh start. Oh ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition. All new Sunday at 8, 7 central on ABC.
must-win game for Trent Edwards and the Bills, who need to keep up in a tight AFC East race. They go up against the Browns and new quarterback Brady Quinn, looking for his first win as an NFL starter. It Browns Bills at 8.30 Eastern on ESPN's Monday Night Football. Well, in the game within the game, that showdown between two wonderful old guys, Joe Paterno and Bobby Bowden, with uh, Joe Paz Nittany Lions beating Indiana today, victory 382, and Bobby Bowden about to lose. He's going to fall two behind. Joe Paz, you get an AARP trophy for the, uh, <laughs> the winner of that. <laughs> I get to present it, too. And, and with the Knowles at Maryland and then hosting Florida, you got to wonder how many wins Florida State has left in them this year. Kickoff goes out of bounds and uh, so they'll spot it and let us go to Matt Weiner. All right, Brent, the defending national champs have come all the way back to take the lead on Troy after a muffed punt by Troy. Charles Scott touchdown to give LSU the lead 30 straight points in the Tigers are in the red zone again, threatening once again, but LSU now leading 33-31 inside three minutes to go in Baton Rouge. And here, Coach Jags, as he is affectionately known, is about to come away with a huge ACC win. And you know, uh, the Knowles might want to burn these jerseys, Kirk. Um, the last time they wore these black jerseys, October 21st, 2006, lost to Boston College 24 19 BC came in here tonight 2 and 15 all time in the state of Florida they're about to win their third game ever against Miami Florida or Florida State and a just a tremendous performance by Jeff Jagodzinski and his coaching staff Chris Crane the the fifth year quarterback who stepped in there Christian Ponder who have a lot of victories before he's finished here is uh, about to suffer a, a defeat that'll hurt a little bit. Boston College the trademark is playing hard and and playing with great discipline and that's what they were able to do tonight and with a win they control their own destiny to try to get to that ACC championship game. Yeah they go to uh, Wake Forest mm -hmm. next week for an afternoon game which you will see on ABC and then. The Eagles close out on the 29th with Maryland at home win both of them and they go to the ACC title game and that title game is in Tampa this year. Yep. So I'm sure Matt Ryan and uh, the other Eagles around the country enjoyed this performance very very much. It was a punishing hard hitting game here tonight. And you can't say enough about the uh, the Boston College offensive line and those three interceptions. The key to this game, the three picks, one of which was returned by Bowman for an Eagle touchdown. I want to say something about Chris Crane because he's had a kind of a roller coaster ride in his fifth year as a senior. First year starting, taking over for Matt Ryan. If that's not pressure enough, he's made some mistakes. And boy, did he step up tonight on the road, make some great decisions, ran the football a few times, threw the football very well. Great leader tonight for the Eagles. Time runs out. And rather than have their 11th interception of the last three games, they knock it down. And Coach Jags will come across now to shake hands with uh, Bobby Bowden and uh, I, they had to separate some players down there at the 30 yard line some words were being exchanged and the officials have got to step in now I watched the whole thing <laughs> Florida State player I think it was Preston Parker slammed his helmet to the turf in frustration a Boston College player came over to console him just tell him hey good game and Parker shoved him. The defensive back came over just to say, hey, man, Rollins says, hey, hang in there. And then Rollins didn't like that action by Parker. And then that's when the two sides came together. Uh, let's go down to Lisa. Thanks, Brent. Coach Jags, what, what's happening over here? I don't know. Uh, what a great job by our guys. They just fought and went back and forth. I, I'm really proud of them. I gotta ask you because I was standing right next to you. What was going through your mind that late uh, fumble uh, by Chris Crane? Oh. <laughs> 
Staying out of the football, I think if he would have given it, we would have scored right there. But uh, uh, I'm so happy for these guys. He had a solid night tonight, uh, not only in the air, on the ground. What was the key for him being able to run the ball so effectively? Well, they, they, we had an option there. Either they were going to dive down on their back or take the quarterback. And they kept diving down on Montel, so he just kept it around the edge. And speaking of Montel, the guys were up in the booth were saying a star is born. Describe the effort from him tonight. He's unbelievable. Uh, he was a guy. He was a guy that we ended up taking late in recruiting, and, and he's been fantastic for us. You told me at halftime you guys wanted to set the tone, particularly with that onside <laughs> kick. What was that tone you wanted to set? Well, I told him, I said, we're not going down there not to lose. We're going down there to win the game. And uh, everybody was, I heard it was a big party with the blackout and everything, so I got the guys' black shirts and said, we're going to be invited anyway to the party. All right, thanks a lot. Congratulations right, to you. you. Brent. All right, Lisa, thank you very much. So our players of the game, Chris Crane, the fifth-year senior, the architect. Graham Cano, ladies and gentlemen, was the leading rusher for the Seminoles tonight. That's right, on that fake punt. He also hit one of two field goals. He did miss for the 50 yarder, but he still sparked a comeback for the Knowles, but they could not finish it. And of course, a reminder be with us next Saturday, 8 Eastern on ABC. Texas Tech against Oklahoma. The showdown from Norman. For Kirk Herb Street and Lisa Salters, I'm Brent Musburger saying so long from Tallahassee. Coming up next now, except out on the West Coast, will be your local news. Boston College does it. They come to Tallahassee and win by 10. So long, everybody. This has been a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. You're under arrest for kidnapping. Thursday. Detective Sam Tyler will reunite with his family. Are you saying that kidnapper is your father? That's exactly what I'm saying. Getting one step closer to why he's stuck in 1973. Maybe this is the reason why I'm here. If you haven't seen ABC's new hit show, Life on Mars, this is a great time to start. ABC's Life on Mars, all new Thursday, 10, 9 central, after a new Grey's Anatomy on ABC. Sunday, November 23rd, you've never seen an American Music Awards lineup bigger, hotter, and sweeter than this. With performances by Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, Kanye West, Rihanna, Christina Aguilera, Jonas Brothers, Mariah Carey, Coldplay, Alicia Keys, New Kids on the Block, Pink, Taylor Swift, plus a special appearance by Aerosmith, Steven Tyler, and Joe Perry. Can you believe it? Jimmy Kimmel hosts the 2008 American Music Awards live Sunday, November 23rd at 7, 6 central on ABC. Deals on high-tech electronics, Sunday night on News Channel 5 at 11. I am an astrophysics major and a Goldwater scholar studying asteroids at one of the world's premier astronomical research sites. I'm a music major and a violinist, and I've already performed at Carnegie Hall. I'm an educator researching school funding because when I'm a teacher, I want all students to have the education they deserve. I'm a film student, and I help to edit this commercial. I am the promise. I am the promise. I am the promise of Ohio University. Guess what? Dairy Queen is having a huge cheeseburger sale. Now, a juicy single is just 99 cents. Mm. A beefy double is just $1.49. Mm. Mm. And a Titanic triple is just $1.99. Uh oh. Lock ya. A little help here. Open wide and say, mm. The cheeseburger sale is going on at Dairy Queen. Do all three. <sighs> okay, Sue, it's the lightning savings round. Are you playing for your car or your home? Car. I want the nationwide insurance. Let's do the On Your Side Review. First question. How many cars? Two. Are they new? Yes. Any accidents? No. Here it is. Your new customized nationwide car insurance. <laughs> And you racked up to $500 in savings. Call 877-NATIONWIDE now. Is there no end in sight? Strong winds and heavy rains pummeled northeast Ohio all day, causing problems across the region. Now the power of five tracks.